पहलू है इसका और ये बहुत ही स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट मैंने कहा समुद्र के पानी के नीचे एक बहुत डेप्थ में इसको बनाया गया इस पानी डेप्थ में रखा गया है तो लोग जाएंगे नीचे जब उतरते हैं उनको पूरी ट्रेनिंग दी जाती है कि कैसे सांस रोकना चाहिए कैसे उस तरीके से लोगों को अपने आप को बचाना चाहिए क्या क्या इक्विपमेंट रखना चाहिए कैसे वहां से जब बहुत ज्यादा पानी का दबाव है तो वहां से कैसे निकलना चाहिए कहीं ना कहीं तो आपस ये भी कह सकते हैं कि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी की बहुत दूरदर्शी सोच मानवीय मूल्यों को बचाने की जो सोच है लोगों के लिए काम करने का जो जज्बा है वो कहीं ना कहीं इन सारे तमाम कामों से परिलक्षित होता हुआ नजर आता है इसमें कोई दो राय नहीं है कि ये सच में दूरदर्शी सोच है क्योंकि इससे पहले किसी ने सोचा भी नहीं था कि इस तरीके की ट्रेनिंग फैसिलिटी इंडिया में हो, होगा या किया जा सकता है ये पहली बार इस तरीके की फैसिलिटी दी गई है आ, मैं बार बार ये कहता हूं कि देश बदल रहा है क्योंकि देश की सोच बदल रही है सोच इसलिए बदल रही है क्योंकि हम विजन के साथ आगे बढ़ रहे हैं विजन किसका है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का विजन है तो ये विजन के साथ जब आगे देश चलता है तो कहीं ना कहीं देश का पूरा का पूरा जो सिस्टम है वो बदल रहा है आज की आप बात करें एक दस साल पहले एनर्जी डिफिशियंट भारत हुआ करता था हम हम लोगों को क्या कहते हैं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी की कितनी कमी होती थी आपको शायद याद होगा कि कोल कंजम्पन कोल बेस्ड ज्यादातर थर्मल पावर यूनिट से वहां पर कभी कभार ऐसा भी हुआ कि आ, कोल आ, की मात्रा कम हो गई है कि शायद वो शट डाउन हो सकता है बहुत बार एनर्जी दूसरी जगह से लेनी पड़ी थी लेकिन आज अगर हम देखें तो हम ना सिर्फ उससे पार पड़ चुके आ चुके हैं लेकिन एनर्जी सरप्लस बन रहे हैं और सिर्फ एनर्जी सरप्लस नहीं बन रहे हैं हम इसके बाद आगे लेके जा रहे हैं कि किस तरीके से सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी पे जाए किस तरीके से नेट जीरो दो तक भारत ने एक वो दिया है कि हम दो तक पूरा का पूरा जो सिस्टम है उसको बदल देंगे जो फॉसिल फोल बेस्ड इकोनॉमी है उसको बदल के हम हरित एक इकोनॉमी पे लेके आएंगे उसको कैसे लेके आएंगे वो पूरा चेंज करें आप कॉम्प्रेस बायोगैस लेके आ रहे हैं आप सी People are uncomfortable. No, no, too much Hinduism nowadays. Why should we should be passive Hindus? We are becoming aggressive Hindus. What is your view of all this, Guru Dev? <laughs> I don't know. There are many such misconceptions. You know, I give the right for people to be in ignorance. because they just don't want to see the truth they don't want to see the light you know they are dwindling their numbers are minuscule today they should go to the ground level and just look at what people want people are today very proud of being who they are what they are that was not the case before someone who crosses the boundaries of india will even change their names that's not happening today you see the uh, the revivalism when something good is being revived why to uh, shy away from that be part of the revivalism it's a flood that is happening today of upliftment of the whole nation and you should just be part of that see when you say development development doesn't only mean making roads and building houses it also development of the civilization the culture the values that we uphold and today the world is welcoming uh, our values these values you know if you closely watch uh, the developed countries the struggle they are going through today is appalling you know and we don't want those ills of the society come into our, our uh, you know our society as well one in every three person is getting depressed they are all turning towards yoga they are all turning towards chanting which was a taboo before i don't know 42 years back when i started art of living uh, yoga was a taboo not everybody wants to even look think about it in the world but today i tell you one fourth of the population maybe now one third of the population world's population are practicing meditation yoga chanting and all this so people now should wake up to this reality and not just uh, shy away from or feel so uh, entrenched in the old colonial yeah. mindset i think so i think people should be comfortable with who they are and hindus are becoming comfortable with who they are in their essence and i think this is very important i think actually gurudev too much politics symbolic politics has happened around hindus you know 
you also put religion against religion, don't you think so? I mean, you, you, Rajiv Gandhi did Shahabano to appease the Muslims. Then he turned around, he tried to open the locks uh, to, to appease the Hindus. Then he tried to start his campaign from Ayodhya. And you en end up getting muddled up. You know, you, you end up moving from appeasing this side to appeasing that side. Don't you think so? I mean, we should move towards a different approach to politics. Samay badla, kahaniya badli. अब मैं जब जिस दुनिया से आता हूं मैं कभी सर एक दिन भी मैंने प्रिटेंड होने की और किसी और कॉम्प्लेक्स में नहीं पड़ा कि नहीं नहीं यार मुझे ये आनी चाहिए मुझे लगा मैं इस जो हूं वही हूं और मैं इसी तरीके से रहूंगा और मैं इसको बहुत ही प्राइड और प्राउड के साथ प्रेजेंट करूंगा कभी लगा कि चेंज करूंगा तो ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल बनूंगा चेंज करूंगा तो बिखर जाऊंगा सक्सेसफुल नहीं बनूंगा पता नहीं कौन एक्सप्लेन कीजिए किस टीचर ने आके मेरे को ये दाल दिया था कि जो संसार में जितने लोग हैं करोड़ों लोग हैं तुम सिर्फ अकेले हो तुम्हारी जैसी मिलता जुलता होगा पर तुम्हारे जैसा कोई व्यक्ति नहीं है ये भी पॉसिबल है कि तुम्हारे विचार का कोई दूसरा व्यक्ति ना मिले हु बहु जो जिसका सॉफ्टवेयर तुम्हारी तरह सोचता हो तो तुम यूनिक हो तुम अकेले हो इसीलिए तुम खास हो प्रोटोटाइप The digital age is here, pulsing with possibility. Indian women are soaring in the digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024. Together, we will rise, connect and lead. Uttarakhand government to introduce the Uniform Civil Court Bill in the State Assembly. All eyes on the Assembly session. ED raids more than 12 locations in money laundering probe in Delhi. KJ Vals personal secretary and now the party MP raided. Bharti Janta Party Shasit Kendra Sarkar ka ke wo apni agencies ke madhyam se aam admi party ko darane ki koshish kar rahi hai, dhamkane ki koshish kar rahi hai aur hamari baat ko dabane ki koshish kar rahi hai. Meanwhile, Amani Party alleges witch hunt says ED has not been able to gather any evidence since three years. Lands camp probe gathers space. ED lucky to quiz Heman Surain and his aide Bhanu Pratap together. Allahabad High Court to hear the Muslim side's plea to stop Hindu prayers at the Gyanwapi complex. Hindu side says no harm in prayers in the complex. Good morning, viewers. We are live in Breaking Republic TV. I'm Rakhita Mishra with you. Let's get started with some breaking developments coming in. Now, ED raids have taken place in more than 12 locations. And this is uh, also inclusive of a raid on Kejriwal's personal secretary, Bebab Kumar. Now, raid on the former member of Shalab Kumar Jal Board has taken place. Raid in a money laundering case. This is a raid in connection with a money laundering case. Meanwhile, ED raids are also underway at the Amani Party MP ND Gupta's residence. <clears throat> so, the ED heat intensifies the ED heat, of course, on Kejriwal. Already, he has been summoned several times and he has skipped all the summons. But at the same time, we see his personal secretary and former MP also of the Amani party. Their locations, their residences have been... Um, the member of parliament, Rajya Sabha Indi Gupta's residence has also been raided.
थोड़ा सा डाउन हमारे और प्रशांत पेश किए गए हैं और देखने में आ रहा है कि बजरे बनती हैं और नजरों का जिक्र किया जाता है सदन में विभिन्न चर्चाओं में विभिन्न विषयों पर उन नजरों का दृष्टांतों का जिक्र किया जाता है लेकिन दुर्भाग्य है कि आज सदन संख्या बल को हम जानते हैं संख्या बल के आधार पर इस विधेयक को पारित नहीं किया जा रहा लेकिन मैं आपसे निवेदन करना चाहता हूं माननीय अध्यक्ष की यूसी जो विशेषज्ञ समिति की जो रिपोर्ट है उस पर पटल पर रहने का कहीं जिद्द नहीं किया गया उस मसौदे का कहीं पर भी उल्लेख इस एजेंडे में नहीं है और जिससे कि हमारे माननीय विधायक गुण दोष के आधार पर उसमें भाग लेते चर्चा करते शासन का शासन को इतने बड़े विषय पर इतने बड़े मुद्दे पर विधेयक तैयार किया गया मान्य मानिए इसकी रिपोर्ट पहले सदन में पेश की जानी चाहिए थी कि बेहतर होता और निश्चित रूप से मान्य अध्यक्ष जी ये बहुत बड़ा प्रश्न है जिस तरह कार्य मंत्रा समिति की बैठक में मैं इंगित कर रहा हूं मैं कोई अच्छे तरह से सच्चाई को बयान कर रहा हूं आपके सामने कि जो हुआ था कि संख्या बल को आधार माना गया और कहा गया कि कल ही या विधेयक के प्रारूप या मसौदा प्रस्तुतिकरण विधेयक प्रस्तुत कर होगा उसके बाद ही इस पर चर्चा हो जाएगी हमारा निवेदन था आपके आप हमारी संरक्षा के लाभ में हमारा निवेदन था कि उसका ड्राफ्ट क्या है उसका मसौदा किसका है क्या कितने पन्नों का है अध्ययन करने के लिए समय तो चाहिए हम देखें कि तो कर सकते इसमें क्या खामियां है क्या खामियां है क्या इसमें और इसमें सर्जित किया जा सकता है इसका तो समय हमें मिलना चाहिए और हमने कहा कि आज को आप प्रस्तुतिकरण करिए उसके बाद कल इस पर चर्चा हो जाए बेहतर होगा लेकिन सरकार की का जो पक्ष देखने को मिला बड़ा दुर्भाग्य है कि विपक्ष की आवाज को या मानव विधानों की भावनाओं को जो इसमें अपनी बात को रखना चाहते हैं अपनी बात को कहना चाहते हैं उससे वंचित किया जा रहा है मान्य और हर तब होगी मान्य अध्यक्ष जी प्रश्नकाल को निलंबित कर दिया गया संसदीय इतिहास में संभव ऐसा कभी देखने को नहीं मिला होगा इस संसदीय परंपराओं की अवहेलना हो रही है मान्य अध्यक्ष जी जो हमारी कार्य पालन दिमावली है जिसमें सब इसी से कार्य संचालन नियमावली से ही सदन संचालित होता है मान्य अध्यक्ष जी इसकी अवहेलना हो रही है संसदीय परंपराओं परंपराओं की अनदेखी की जा रही है नियमों की अनदेखी की जा रही है जो हमारे मान्य विधायक जो उनका अधिकार है प्रश्न करने का अब इस सदन में इस इस सदन में इस पंचायत में अगर हमारे माननीय विधायक अपनी बात को यहां नहीं रखें तो कहां रखेंगे आप प्रदेश जल रहा है माननीय अध्यक्ष जी कानून व्यवस्था पूरी तरह ध्वस्त हो चुकी है लगातार जनप्रतिनिधियों की अनदेखी की जा रही अपमान किया जा रहा है माननीय अध्यक्ष जी मैं इंगित नहीं करना चाहता उन बात को इस नहीं जाना चाहता आप भ्रष्टाचार का बोला है बोलवाला हो चुका माननीय कानून व्यवस्था पूरी तरह ध्वस्त हो चुकी है आपदा से पूरा प्रदेश प्रभावित पूरा पहाड़ प्रभावित है पूरी तरह के हमारे जो मैदानी जनपद हैं आज तो उनका पर्याप्त मुआवजा नहीं हो पाया है सरकार यहां से घोषणा करती है इसी सदन से इसी पीठ से घोषणा होती है कि हम इसमें 
हम राहत देंगे मदद करेंगे लेकिन मान्य तो भाई मुझे दोषी मत ताजा उतार दो दाजुना ताजा उतार दो मैं मान्य तो और मान्य तो भी तू तो बिहार से लेकर शिमला से जंपर जितने भी हैं वहाँ पर इस तरह का हवा का मचा हुआ है आज तक सरकार ने दिशा में कोई बात नहीं की है बाली मुद्दे हैं अंकिता भंडारी क्या कहा है दिल्ली कि आज तक उसको न्याय नहीं दिख पाया मान्य अधिक की तरफ से उनके बच्चों के साथ अत्याचार हो रहा है जुल्म हो रहे हैं उनके साथ रास्ता हो रहा है किसानों के साथ जाती हो रही है मान्य अधिक की भ्रष्टाचार और उद्यान विभाग में इतना बड़ा घोटा रहा हुआ है और सरकार हाईकोर्ट माननीय उच्च न्यायालय निर्देश देता है कि इसकी सीधाई जांच होनी चाहिए ये बहुत बड़ा घोटा रहा है और सरकार और सरकार को सरकार को सरकार को भी कहा जाता है कि आखिर आप पर्याप्त इस समय मिलना चाहिए जिससे कि इसके गुण दोष क्या है इसमें खामियां क्या है कब्जियां क्या है इस सब चर्चा में तब भाग ले सकें माने देशी आपका मैं मैं कोई भाषण नहीं दूंगा मैं तो मतलब यहाँ पे भाषण दिया हुई तो हम कह रहे हैं भाषण तो विषय नहीं है माने देशी ये ले रहा हूँ कि भाषण का विषय नहीं सदन जो है कार्य संचालन नियमानी के अनुसार संचालित होता है और अध्याय है कि कार्यक्रम सदन में लिए जाने वाले कार्य की सूचना सभा के किसी अधिवेशन के प्रारंभिक सत्ता के लिए जाने वाले कार्य की सूचना विधानसभा सचिवालय को अधिवेशन प्रारंभ होने के कम से कम पंद्रह दिन पूर्व शासन द्वारा दी जाएगी और तदनुसार प्रत्येक सप्ताह के अंतिम कार्य दिवस पर सदन के नेता अथवा मंत्री परिषद के कोई सदस्य जो जो बस चलेगी वो पानी से चलेगी जी हाँ मैं चंबानी है पानी से ही चलेगी क्योंकि इसमें हाइड्रोजन स्वेल का यूज किया जा रहा है जैसे मैंने कहा इलेक्ट्रोलाइजर को उस तरीके से तैयार किया गया कि पानी डाला जाएगा और वो उस पानी को तोड़ के उसमें हाइड्रोजन तब्दील करके वो गाड़ी चलेगी और ये गाड़ी ऑलरेडी मार्केट में आना शुरू हो चुकी है पहली और ये ऑलरेडी इंडियन ऑयल पे डाल दिया गया है बिल्कुल ग्रीन एनर्जी पर प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का लगातार फोकस रहा है उस दिशा में कई प्रयास हो रहे हैं लोगों को धुएं से मुक्त कराने के लिए तमाम प्रयास हो रहे हैं उसके लिए चाहे उज्ज्वला योजना हो या फिर ऑयल का जो सब्सटीट्यूट है वो लाना हो तमाम सारी चीजें और जिस तरह से लोगों को प्रोत्साहन देना आप देखिए बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो कुकिंग ऑयल से बायोफ्यूल तैयार कर रहे हैं पेड़ पौधों के सूखी पत्तियों से और जो मेडिकल वेस्ट होता है उससे बायोफ्यूल तैयार कर रहे हैं तमाम लोग आत्मनिर्भरता की इस कड़ी में कदम से कदम मिलाकर जुड़ते जा रहे हैं जी बिल्कुल आपने देखा कि जिस तरीके से लोग आगे बढ़ रहे हैं आप देख पाते हैं कि कहीं ना कहीं लोगों में भी वो जज्बा है कि दो तक किसी तरीके से दो हजार तक जो नेट जीरो का प्रधानमंत्री का जो नारा है जो विजन है उसको हासिल करें ये जो इथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग की बात की मैंने इथेनॉल को किस तरीके से तैयार किया जाएगा उसका 2G जो सेकेंड जनरेशन जो है वो भारत में वो टेक्निक आ चुकी है 3G की भी टेक्निक अगर इस तरीके से चला तो वो थ्री की टेक्निक भी आ जाएगी भारत में लेकिन टू जी जनरेशन मैं क्यों कह रहा हूँ कि एक जमाना था सिर्फ शुगर की यानी गन्ने से ही इथेनॉल बनाता बनाया जाता था लेकिन अब क्या हो गया है कि एग्रीकल्चर वेस्ट के ये पराली के ये इन सब से आप इथेनॉल बना सकते हैं इथेनॉल की और बना के सिर्फ सिर्फ ऐसा नहीं है लोगों को खासतौर से जो ग्राम ग्रामीण लोग हैं जो खेती करने वाले लोग हैं किसान है उनको फायदा मिलता है क्योंकि जो उनका उनकी जो खेती का एक पार्ट है जो वेस्ट हो जाता था अब वो कंपनीज को जाके देते हैं कंपनीज उनको अच्छा खासा पैसा भी देती है तो एक तरह से डबल फायदा जो किसानों को हो रहा है एक तो जो किसान एक खेती करते थे वो खेती से तो फायदा हो ही रहा है जो खेती के बाद जो अवशेष रह जाते थे वो अवशेष को भी अगर आप वो कंपनीज को बेचते हैं 
उससे भी कंपनी उनको पैसा देती है और उससे पैसा भी मिलता है उनको और दूसरा अहम चीज है हमने देखा किस तरीके से पराली जलाने से कितना लोगों को प्रॉब्लम होती है किस तरह से पोल्यूशन बढ़ता है तो अब वो भी अब उससे भी निजात पाया जा सकता है इसके बाद बिल्कुल अच्छा अगर इसको हम प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी इस वक्त डायस पे आ चुके हैं मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगा शैला और थोड़ी देर में वो हम लोगों को संबोधित करेंगे और पूरे देश की निगाहें इस वक्त प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी और गानेशन वर्ल्ड वाइड एज एन एम्फेटिक वॉइस फॉर एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन एंड सस्टेनेबल डिवेलपमेंट थैंक यू ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर सर एंड लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन The India Energy Week stands as a testament to the bold and decisive leadership of Honorable Prime Minister that has positioned India as a trailblazer in clean energy solutions as an emphatic voice and a credible voice in the global fight against climate change and as a leader in the transition to low carbon economy and where Energy security and environmental sustainability are not just policy goals but they are the cornerstone of our nation. मुझे मतलब बहुत दिनों से बहुत दिनों से एक तरह से आशा थी कि आपसे मिलूंगा और आपको कहूंगा दैट आई एम अ डीप एडमायरर ऑफ योर फिल्म्स योर आर्ट योर पर्सनालिटी and your acting style thank you so much mujhe sir. to lagta hai that you are a you are a jaise maine kaha future legend matlab aapne pure jo hamari uh, ek tarah se performing arts aur cinema industry ott ki direction aapne change kar di hai aur aapke safalta ke karan aaj bahut aise talent samne aaye hain pichle 5 6 saal mein jo shayad pehle recognize nahi hote nahi hote कि सब लोग कहते हैं कि ही कुड बी द नेक्स्ट पंकज त्रिपाठी सो पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर टैलेंट लाइक दैट सो व्हाट डू यू फील डू यू आल्सो फील जब आपने अपने करियर को देखना है पिछले दस साल स्पेशली जी तो कोई टर्निंग पॉइंट आपको याद आता है यस टर्निंग पॉइंट मेरे ख्याल से uh, पहले तो थैंक यू आपने इतना अच्छा इंट्रोडक्शन दिया और मैं आपको पास से देखना चाहता था <laughs> मेरी इच्छा थी क्योंकि मैं टीवी में देखा था तो मुझे लगा था कि देखूँ और इस इंटरव्यू के पहले मैं पाँच मिनट मिला हूं आपसे तो मुझे वो व्यक्ति नहीं मिला जो टीवी में दिखा था <laughs> तो, तो खैर यस ओ टी आने के बाद से खास करके मेरे मेरे कैरियर में बदलाव हुआ जब इंडिया में टू सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन में ओ आ रहा था एक फिल्म आई थी न्यूटन जिसके लिए नेशनल अवार्ड मिला मुझे पहली बार तो वो फिल्म हुई थी छोटी रिलीज बट बॉक्स ऑफिस पे चल गई और बड़ी आस उसके साथ कुछ बड़ी फिल्म को पछाड़ के ज्यादा दिन चली गई फिर ऑस्कर के लिए इंडियन एंट्री भेज दी गई वो उससे थोड़ा सा चर्चा हुआ था बट ओटीटी आने के बाद से किस साल की बात है न्यूटन 2017 स्कूल टीचर नहीं चुनाव कराने चुनाव चुनाव कराने वाले नक्सल इलाके में इलेक्शन कराने जाते हैं यस और सी आर पी एफ कमांडेंट हूँ तो वो फिल्म चल गई और सराहा गया और सेम टाइम वो टी टी इंडिया में आ चुके थे मिर्जापुर प्राइम वीडियो पे और और सीक्रेट गेम उधर चल रहा था तो ओ टी टी इंटरनेट के आने से अब स्क्रीन ज़्यादा डेमोक्रेटिक हो गया पहले स्क्रीन सिनेमा हॉल था फिर स्क्रीन घर का टी वी स्क्रीन था जो ड्राइंग मेन लिविंग एरिया में रहेगा अब ये मोबाइल जेब तक पहुंच गया या पर्सनल टैब लैप लैपटॉप के थ्रू तो मुझे लगता है कि तुल ज्यादा लोग हम लोगों को देखने लगे ऑडियंस बढ़ गई ऑडियंस बढ़ गई क्योंकि हमारी फिल्म में दो सौ सिनेमा घरों में रिलीज होती है अब चुनाव में खड़े कर दो एक आदमी को और बोलो कि तुम्हारा बूथ पूरे इंडिया में दो बनाएंगे कौन मतदाता आएगा भाई and he was traveling far and wide the country he has come to me several times and uh, once when there was a talk between um, with the shankaracharya and the muslim person about it all failed and so he was so disappointed so he came to me right from kanchipuram to bangalore at the time i told him um, you know i have the intuition i have this feeling that there Uh, the vision that there is a temple which is dilapidated 
there is a Kali temple, Dev Kali temple. Dev Kali is the Kuldevi of Sri Ram. And that temple is completely in uh, dismay. No proper arrangements are there. This is what I feel. Is there such a temple? I asked. Then we found out, yes, there are two Kali Mandir. One is Choti Kali, another is Dev Kali Mandir, which is just outskirts of uh, Ayodhya. Then, uh, then he said, no, we have to revive this temple and, you know, uh, reconsecrate that place. So we found a proper muhurt and we went there. Ashok Singhalji was also present and uh, several people from Delhi, Mahesh Guptaji was also there with me. And we had uh, all the four Vedic Pandits go there and we reconsecrated the temple. <laughs> Welcome back. A video that surfaced showing a group of migrants brawling with police in uh, Times Square has ignited a political conflict and debate surrounding the long-standing issues between New York City police and federal immigration authorities. The footage captures several men kicking officers on a sidewalk and attempting to disengage them from a man the police has subdued on the ground. Here's a report. Terms of intrusion into the Indian territory have been followed by the allied troops of the border security force. Uh, first incident came into being. It was an Afghan national who was apprehended in the Gurdaspur. And upon question, he was speaking the Pashto. What the security forces could make out that he was guided by someone in the Pakistan to head towards the Indian border. Now he has been apprehended and handed over to the local police station. The joint security agencies are also questioning him about his whereabouts because since he is speaking Pashto, it is becoming really difficult to uh, get the details details that uh, how he managed to sneak in into the Indian territory. Now coming to the uh, second incident that has been reported in the Taran Taran. This time it is a Pakistani national aged 16 years old who crossed over to the Indian side. Now the, when he was questioned by the intelligence agencies in the Taran Taran, it came uh, into being that he was well aware of the, its surroundings that which area he has come.
All right, uh, the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand is all set to address the Assembly and uh, uh, there were Jai Sri Ram chants uh, reverberating in the Uttarakhand Assembly. We just heard them in the background. You can see uh, as Utpushka Singh Dhami is all set to table the bill. He is uh, tabling the UCC bill in Assembly and this is going to be, if it's passed in the bill, uh, if this bill is passed in the Assembly, it is going to be the first state post-independence to implement the Uniform Civil Code in the country. And you can see uh, Chief Minister Pushka Singh Dhami uh, thanking everyone and all of those who are cheering and also, of course, so, so, uh, raising slogans of Jai Sri Ram and uh, BGP MLAs are, of course, uh, uh, welcoming and uh, cheering for Chief Minister Pushka Singh Dhami. The UCC bill has been on the BJP's agenda, not just in Uttarakhand and across states. Uttarakhand has drafted, already approved the draft for the UCC in the state and we are going to see the bill being tabled. He has tabled the bill, what we know so far and uh, we need to of course get more details on what do we expect from this, uh, from this bill. What we understand is that uh, that there will be prohibition, that there could be proposals on uh, prohibition of polygamy, halala, iddat and child marriage. We'll take a short break viewers. On the other side, we'll get you live action from the Uttarakhand Assembly as uh, it's going to be a significant day. The UCC bill has been tabled. More details and uh, inputs on the other side. Stay tuned. I always felt that there was some, something which was preventing the Hindus from expressing their true feelings as Hindus and as nationalists and as uh, part of uh, people in public discourse. I had the fortune of being associated with the Ramjan Bobu movement from the word go. He started in 1983, but there is a background to it. It is not that, that this movement originated on the basis of Hindu-Muslim relationship in post-independence India, but it happened long back. All this came out in the course of the exchange of documents between Hindus and Muslims as to how the Ramjan Mubhumi movement evolved from the 18th century, early part of the 18th century. And uh, the British had recorded it. A British judge had recorded in 1886 when a suit was filed to take possession of the Ramjan Bhumi. He recorded that it is unfortunate that a Hindu temple was demolished and a mosque has been built on its place. But it is very difficult for me after this uh, length of time to hand over the premises to the Hindus. This was the helplessness of a government with the judicial system which had very limited scope to intervene in these matters. But the historicity of this was established by a series of uh, struggles which the Hindus uh, undertook. By way of military expedition, by way of war diplomacy, and it all culminate cul every time there was some physical clash the last was in 1934, when several hundreds of Hindus were killed, according to the British records. So the Hindus have been struggling for it on the basis of their uh, continuous uh, belief and the claiming the right to worship. This would have normally happened immediately after the uh, country attained freedom, like it happened in the case of uh, um, Somnath. It should have happened instantly. But the idea was to deny the Hindus their just and uh, lawful claims to the three masjids. You know, it, it is not that uh, the government was unaware, the political system was unaware, or the judiciary was unaware. Anyone with basic understanding of uh, historic and civilizational forces, how they can, like a wave, again and again come and manifest, 
we'll have to only look at what arnold toynbee told the indians in india in the abul kalam azad memorial lecture in 1956 he made three points he said that the three masjids are an ocular provocation because they were not built as religious symbols but as symbols of conquest and domination of hindus by muslims Hi on Republic TV and you're watching this hours live and breaking with me now the digital age is here pulsing with possibility indian women are soaring in the digital age join us at republic india women summit 2024 together we rise connect and lead now let's get you the top headlines at this hour Big move to make UCC a reality Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami introduces uniform civil code bill in the state assembly ED raids at more than 12 locations in money laundering probe in Delhi Kejriwal's personal secretary and AAP MP raided Bharatiya Janata Party shasit Kendra Sarkar ka कि वो अपनी एजेंसी के माध्यम से आम आदमी पार्टी को डराने की कोशिश कर रही है धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारी बात को दबाने की कोशिश कर रही है मीन वाइल आप अलेज बिछान से इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट हैज नॉट बीन एबल टू गैदर एनी एविडेंस सिंस थ्री इयर्स Lance Camp probe gathers space enforcement directorate likely to quiz Hemant Soren and his aide Bhanu Pratap together. Allahabad High Court to hear Muslim sides plea to stop Hindu prayers at the Gyanwapi complex Hindu side says no harm in prayers in the complex. श्री के सी वेणुगोपाल थैंक यू सर थैंक यू चंड पटाई नंबर फार्टी टू श्री सुभाष बेड़िया जी धन्यवाद अध्यक्ष महोदय माननीय मंत्री जी ने अपने रिप्लाई में बताया कि ई गवर्नेंस के लिए पंचायतों में केंद्र की सहायता से कंप्यूटर और अदर आधारभूत ढांचे बनाए जा रहे हैं मैं माननीय मंत्री जी से ये पूछना चाहता हूँ कि पंचायतों की स्थिति तो ये है कि एक पंचायत में या चार पंचायतों में एक सचिव है तो ये जो आप ई गवर्नेंस करना जा रहे हैं इसके के लिए क्या जो ऑपरेटर जो है वो भी उसका भी सहयोग केंद्र सरकार करेगी अध्यक्ष महोदय सन्मान्य सदस्य जी ने जो सवाल पूछा है वो राज्य का विषय है हम पंचायतों में कंप्यूटर सपोर्टिंग के तौर पर करते हैं लेकिन वहाँ पंचायत में अगर ग्राम सचिव नहीं है तो वो ग्राम सचिव को नियुक्त करने का काम राज्य सरकार का है उसमें केंद्र सरकार कोई सहयोग नहीं करती है नियालचंद मेघवाल मैं देश के प्रधानमंत्री जी का धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा 
कि 14 फाइनेंस कमीशन का पैसा और 15 फाइनेंस कमीशन का पैसा सीधा ही ग्राम पंचायत के विकास के लिए केंद्र सरकार ने जारी किया है देश के इतिहास में पहली बार सीधा पैसा ग्राम पंचायत को देश के प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जारी किया है मैं आपके माध्यम से मैं माननीय मंत्री जी से जानना चाहूंगा कि 15 फाइनेंस कमीशन का पैसा और 14 फाइनेंस कमीशन का पैसा बढ़ाने का कोई प्रावधान या फिर जो ग्राम पंचायत को आप सीधा पैसा दे रहे हैं उनकी मॉनिटरिंग या केंद्र सरकार मॉनिटरिंग करने के लिए कोई नोडल अफसर अलग से बनाने का प्रावधान किया है क्या अध्यक्ष महोदय मैं आपके माध्यम से सम्मान्य सदस्य को कहना चाहूँगा कि देश के प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में फाइनेंस कमीशन का जो पैसा है वो पंचायत को सक्षम करने के लिए बहुत बड़े प्रावधान बहुत बड़े पैमाने पर प्रावधान किया है मैं थोड़ा पीछे जाऊंगा प्रधानमंत्री जी ने From Kerala, where monthly payment scam involving Kerala Chief Minister's daughter case has come in light, serious fraud investigation and office raids are also going on on CMRL office in Aluva, Kochi. These raids are continuing, although given eight months to find fraud quickly, the investigation has already started. For more on this, I have my colleague Ashwin who is reporting live on this uh, current uh, situation. Ashwin, a very good morning to you. Please take us through this latest development in this case from Kerala which is involving the daughter of Kerala's chief minister. Well, uh, uh, the latest update is that uh, the serious fraud investigation office is conducting the raid at uh, Kutsin Minerals and Rutiles Limited called as CMR. Now, this action came following a complaint that was filed uh, by uh, uh, by the son of PC George as well, uh, Mr. Sean. Now, the case is quite serious because the allegations that has been put forward is that CMR, which is a company which is into mining black sand, has in fact paid. Uh, Veena, who is the daughter of uh, uh, Pinarayi Vijayan, the Chief Minister, uh, amount of rupees 1.72 crores uh, over a period of three years in terms of a monthly payment. Now, the Income Tax Interim Settlement Board had released a report in August 2023 where it equivocally judged that it was a statement, it was a judgment that the money that was given was simply given without providing any services, which itself makes this case extremely serious. Now, the, the SFIO has taken this case after the Ministry of Corporate Affairs has given an order on... All right, Ashwin, thank you so much uh, for sharing these latest updates in this uh, big, big case that has... Uh, come to light in related to the daughter of Kerala's chief minister, Pinaray Vijayan. All right, viewers, let's move on to our other stories at the SAR. A video has surfaced from Farukabad where Louis Khurshid, wife of senior Congress party leader and former foreign minister Salman Khurshid is calling for hitting her own party leaders with shoes. Louis Khurshid has said that if any secretary or general secretary comes to Farukabad questioning the identity of her husband or herself, they should be hit with shoes in front of reporters. Here's a detailed report. Take a look. Yogi, Hardeep Singh Puri ji. रामेश्वर तेली जी विभिन्न देशों से आए अतिथिगण देवी और सज्जनों इंडिया एनर्जी वीक के इस दूसरे संस्करण में मैं आप सभी का अभिनंदन करता हूं हमारे लिए ये बहुत खुशी की बात है कि इंडिया एनर्जी वीक का ये आयोजन हमेशा एनर्जी से भरे रहने वाले 
गोवा में हो रहा है गोवा अपने आतिथ्य भाव के लिए जाना जाता है पूरी दुनिया से यहां आने वाले पर्यटक यहां की सुंदरता और संस्कृति से प्रभावित होते हैं गोवा आज वो राज्य भी है जो विकास के नए प्रतिमानों को छू रहा है इसलिए आज जब हम पर्यावरण के प्रति संवेदनशीलता की बात करने के लिए एकजुट हुए हैं सस्टेनेबल फ्यूचर के बारे में बात करने जा रहे हैं तो इसके लिए गोवा बहुत ही परफेक्ट डेस्टिनेशन है मुझे विश्वास है इस समिट में आए सभी विदेशी मेहमान अपने साथ गोवा की लाइफ टाइम मेमोरी लेकर जाएंगे साथियों इंडिया एनर्जी वीक का यह आयोजन एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण कालखंड में हो रहा है इस वित्तीय वर्ष के पहले छह महीनों में ही भारत की जीडीपी दर साढ़े सात फीसद अधिक हो गई है ये दर ग्लोबल ग्रोथ को लेकर जो अनुमान लगाया गया है उससे भी बहुत अधिक है भारत आज विश्व की सबसे तेज बढ़ती अर्थव्यवस्था है और हाल ही में आईएमएफ ने भी ये भविष्यवाणी की है कि हम ऐसे ही तेज गति से आगे बढ़ेंगे आज पूरी दुनिया के एक्सपर्ट्स ये मान रहे हैं कि भारत जल्द ही विश्व की तीसरी सबसे बड़ी अर्थव्यवस्था बनेगा भारत की इस ग्रोथ स्टोरी में एनर्जी सेक्टर की बहुत महत्वपूर्ण स्वाभाविक रूप से उसका महात्मा बढ़ रहा है साथियों भारत पहले ही विश्व का तीसरा सबसे बड़ा एनर्जी कंज्यूमर है भारत विश्व का तीसरा सबसे बड़ा ऑयल कंज्यूमर और तीसरा सबसे बड़ा एलपीजी कंज्यूमर भी है हम दुनिया के चौथे सबसे बड़े एलएनजी इंपोर्टर चौथे सबसे बड़े रिफाइनर और चौथे सबसे बड़े ऑटोमोबाइल मार्केट वाले देश हैं आज भारत में दो पहिया और चार पहिया वाहनों की बिक्री के नए रिकॉर्ड बन रहे हैं भारत में ईवीज की लगातार डिमांड बढ़ रही है ऐसे अनुमान भी है कि भारत की प्राइमरी एनर्जी डिमांड 2045 तक दोगुनी हो जाएगी यानी आज अगर हमें हर रोज 19 मिलियन बैरल बढ़ती हुई एनर्जी डिमांड के बीच भारत देश के हर कोने में 
एफोर्डेबल एनर्जी को भी एंश्योर कर रहा है भारत ऐसा देश है जहां अनेक ग्लोबल फैक्टर्स के बाद भी बीते दो सालों में पेट्रोल और डीजल के दाम कम हुए इसके अलावा भारत ने 100 परसेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कवरेज हासिल करते हुए बिजली को करोड़ों घरों तक पहुंचाया है और ऐसे प्रयासों के कारण ही आज भारत विश्व के मंच पर एनर्जी सेक्टर में इतना आगे बढ़ रहा है भारत ना सिर्फ अपनी जरूरतों को पूरा कर रहा है बल्कि विश्व के विकास की दिशा भी तय कर रहा है साथियों आज भारत अपने यहां 21वीं सदी का आधुनिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बना रहा हम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बिल्डिंग मिशन पर काम कर रहे हैं इस वित्तीय वर्ष में हम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पर करीब 10 लाख करोड़ रुपए इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं अभी एक सप्ताह पहले जो भारत का बजट आया है उसमें हमने अब इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पर 11 लाख करोड़ रुपए से अधिक के खर्च का संकल्प लिया है इसका एक बड़ा हिस्सा एनर्जी सेक्टर के खाते में जाना तय है इस बड़ी राशि से रेलवे रोडवेज वाटरवेज एयरवेज या हाउसिंग जो भी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर देश में बढ़ेगा सभी को एनर्जी की जरूरत होगी और इसी कारण आप देख रहे हैं कि भारत कैसे अपनी ऊर्जा क्षमता को एनर्जी कैपेसिटी को लगातार बढ़ा रहा है हमारी सरकार ने जो रिफॉर्म्स किए हैं उससे भारत में घरेलू गैस का उत्पादन तेजी से बढ़ रहा है हम प्राइमरी एनर्जी मिक्स में नेचुरल गैस को 6 परसेंट से बढ़ाकर 15 परसेंट तक करने के लिए प्रयास कर रहे हैं इसके लिए अगले पांच छह वर्षों में करीब 67 बिलियन डॉलर्स का निवेश होने जा रहा है हम पहले ही विश्व के सबसे बड़े रिफाइनर में से एक है आज हमारी रिफाइनिंग कैपेसिटी 254 फिफ्टी फोर से अधिक हो गई है हमने 2030 तक भारत की रिफाइनिंग कैपेसिटी को 450 फिफ्टी mm तक पहुंचाने का लक्ष्य रखा है भारत पेट्रोकेमिकल और अन्य फिनिश प्रोडक्ट्स के क्षेत्र में भी एक बड़ा निर्यातक बनकर उभरा है मैं आपको ऐसे कई और उदाहरण दे सकता लेकिन इन सारी बातों का मूल ये है कि भारत इस समय एनर्जी पर इतना निवेश कर रहा है जितना पहले कभी नहीं हुआ और इसलिए आज दुनिया में ऑयल गैस और एनर्जी सेक्टर से जुड़ा करीब करीब हर लीडर भारत में निवेश करना चाहता है कितने ही लीडर्स इस समय मेरे सामने बैठे हुए हैं हम पूरी गर्मजोशी से सर्कुलर इकोनॉमी भारत की प्राचीन परंपरा का हिस्सा रही है रीयूजिंग का कंसेप्ट भी 
हमारे जीने के तरीके से जुड़ा हुआ है और ये बात एनर्जी सेक्टर से भी उतनी ही जुड़ी हुई है पिछले वर्ष जी ट्वेंटी समिट में हमने जिस ग्लोबल बायोफ्यूल्स अलायंस को शुरू किया था वो हमारी इसी भावना का प्रतीक है इस अलायंस ने पूरे विश्व की सरकारों संस्थाओं और इंडस्ट्रीज को एक साथ इकट्ठा कर दिया है जब से ये अलायंस बना है इसे व्यापक समर्थन मिल रहा है बहुत कम समय में ही 22 देश और 12 इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इस अलायंस से जुड़ गए हैं इससे पूरे विश्व में बायोफ्यूल्स के इस्तेमाल को बढ़ावा मिलेगा इससे करीब 500 बिलियन डॉलर की आर्थिक संभावनाओं को बनाने में भी मदद मिलेगी साथियों अपने यहां भी भारत ने इस क्षेत्र में बड़ी प्रगति की है पिछले कुछ वर्षों में भारत में बायोफ्यूल्स का एडोप्शन तेजी से बढ़ा है दस साल पहले हमारे यहां पेट्रोल में इथेनॉल की बेंडिंग डेढ़ प्रतिशत के आसपास थी 2023 में ये 12 प्रतिशत से अधिक हो गई है इससे लगभग आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट नीवा बोपा हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज कम ऑन बोर्ड एज रिपब्लिक टीवी स्टूडियो नीवा बोपा हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग कंपनी अमंग स्टैंड अलोन हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लेयर्स इन इंडिया It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. In a way isn't there a attempt at Hindu villainization? There are three phases of this struggle from the Maratha operation there was a definite policy on sacred places including kashi ayodhya prayag in the legal battle was the second phase right and this uh, the legal effort started in 1885 and the third phase was the 1983 onwards movement of the sadhus and sants and the political movement after 1989 90 so there are three or four phases of this struggle and hindus were patient throughout mr gurumurthy you will agree with me till 6th of december 1992 hindus were patient then the babri masjid were demolished and hindus were patient again after that in the supreme court case so was there an attempt to frustrate trigger and agitate the hindus and villainize the hindus anyone associated with this seen by uh, nehruvian secularism hindus had become political cultural religious orphans in this country because nehru himself said islamic or uh, muslim communalism is aggressive but hindu communalism is dangerous imagine the tallest leader of the country and the most respected leader, leader of indian leader abroad pronouncing that Hindu communalism is dangerous. You know, this is how the division between Hindus and Muslims started. He should have remained above this, but he found it was necessary to cultivate the the uh, Islamic uh, vote bank for Congress, and that is how he seeded the idea that to be against Hindus is part of indian secularism and this manifested remanifested yeah, remanifested and and, 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 and you are you are just sorry I, to intervene sorry to intervene but nehru was always very prickly when when sardar vallabhbhai patel was the deputy prime minister and home minister of india in november 1947 
he went to Saurashtra and declared at a public meeting that the first step of the government of India will be to reconstruct uh, Somnath and reinstall the Jyotirling. As soon as Vallabhbhai Patel passed away, Nehru could not tolerate his cabinet colleague K. M. Munshi taking part in the Somnath temple reconstruction, right, or for the installation of the deity at the Somnath temple. So I think Nehru, in the name of secularism, wanted India to detach itself from its Hindu roots. You see, Jawaharlal Nehru's tolerance of Hinduism vanished after Sardar Patel. He politically tolerated Hinduism because Mahatma Gandhi proclaimed Suraj as Rama Rajya. So, he could not say anything which would go against either Mahatma Gandhi. I have faith that the green energy sector of India is the best of investors and industry. शॉर शॉर्ट विनर बना सकता है साथियों इंडिया एनर्जी वीक का ये आयोजन सिर्फ भारत का आयोजन नहीं है ये आयोजन इंडिया विद द वर्ल्ड एंड इंडिया फॉर द वर्ल्ड इस भावना का प्रतिबिंब है और इसलिए ये मंच आज एनर्जी सेक्टर से जुड़े विचार विमर्श और अनुभवों को साझा करने का मंच बन गया है आइए एक दूसरे से सीखने पर तकनीक की साझेदारी पर और सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी के नए रास्तों को तलाशने पर एक साथ आगे बढ़ते हैं It's the best time that has been chosen, and we should we cannot stop anymore. The temple construction will keep happening. It may take several more months to finish, or maybe years. But what is now available, what is ready, we should just go on. That's Guru Dev. Are opinion. the Muslims a part of this celebration? You know, we are just days away from the Pran Pratishta of the Bhavya Ram Mandir. and i remember that in 2018 we were covering very closely what you were doing and i must say today to all the viewers that it's not just the court verdict it's also viewers we must understand there was a setting there was a mood setting which happened and the process of reconciliation happened before the court order when gurudev shri shri ravi shankar sat with all the representatives of both the sides i remember he had sat and he even told uh you know th there were 12 trunks which were given full of documents to the chief justice of india at that point of time gurudev was part of the negotiation which went on with both sides gurudev at that time you had said that india will turn into another syria if this dispute is not resolved i remember you also said that we can't uh, we can't make lord ram to be born in another place while you were saying why the hindus should be given the given the site uh my direct question to you is one have muslims actually accepted the reality b what is your sense of the muslim community are they truly part of this celebration or is there a feeling of angst inside them about uh the ram temple today as far as i know um today there is very uh, good feelings even among the muslims i don't see there is any such bickering when i went and met about 1200 imams and other religious leader throughout the country during the mediation time i tell you except two or three everyone was willing to be part of this uh, everyone was willing for a peaceful and happy settlement nobody wants to carry this on further uh, any more their only concern was uh, you know it, it should not become a precedence for 3000 other mosques so that was their concern and worry and a second thing was that uh, except just a few couple of lawyers and a few people Most of them were 
willing to come to the settlement. And many of them have written, in, uh, they have given them in, given in writing that, you know, they are ready to uh, be part of peaceful settlement. But, yeah. but what, what is this? In fact, you know, Arnab, in, in fact, Arnab, you know, that nobody wanted five acres. In Muslims never even asked for five acres of land. It is our suggestion to keep them so, so that, you know, everyone feels uh, good about it, to, to feel a feel good factor is where, uh, you know, the solution that, that came and which Supreme Court also came up as a, you know. The digital age is here, pulsing with possibility. Indian women are soaring in this digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024. Together we will rise, connect and lead. Big move to make UCCA reality. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami introduces the Uniform Civil Court Bill in the State Assembly. ED raised at more than 12 locations in money laundering probe in Delhi. K.J. Vals personal secretary and Amani Party MP raided. Party Janta Party Shasit Kendra Sarkar ka कि वो अपनी एजेंसीज के माध्यम से आम आदमी पार्टी को डराने की कोशिश कर रही है, धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारी बात को दबाने की कोशिश कर रही है। Meanwhile, आम आदमी पार्टी अलेज़ेस विच हंट सेव ईडी हैज़ नॉट बीन एबल टू गैदर एनी एविडेंस सिंस थ्री इयर्स Land scam probe gathers space. ED likely to quiz Heyman Soren and his aide Bhanu Pratap together. <coughs> Allahabad High Court to hear Muslim sides plead to stop Hindu prayers at the Gyanwapi complex. Hindu side says no harm in prayers. It's a Republic exclusive input. Republic TV has accessed the UCC draft bill and uh, the draft which has been bifurcated in four parts, which is marriage, succession, living and miscellaneous. And also we are getting you inside visuals from the Uttarakhand Assembly where the opposition is seen reading the UCC draft. Remember, uh, Chief Minister Dhami just a short while back chaired the UCC, uh, he had tabled the UCC bill and the assembly has been adjourned till 2 p.m. So this is the big update we have right now. Republic TV accessing that very crucial uh, uniform civil code bill for, uh, uh, for, for, the, for the state of Uttarakhand. And my colleague Madhurima is joining us live on the broadcast for more. Madhurima, Republic TV has accessed this uh, copy. Uh, tell us about the highlights, uh, the bifurcation and what does this really talk about? Well, this is a very crucial uh, draft and it has been divided into four sections where it talks about marriage, succession, living and miscellaneous. Uh, and there has been a time allotted for an hour and a half uh, to read out uh, this particular 175 page detailed uh, draft over here of the UCC. Right now I'm inside uh, the assembly premises and let me take you uh, to 
the room where all the Congress leaders are at this particular uh, at this particular mo moment uh, are uh, discussing the entire matter. So I'll just uh, uh, go inside the room and uh, show you these uh, visuals over here. Uh, so these are the visuals you can see that there's all the Congress leaders over sitting over here and they're discussing they're discussing the matter. They're There seems to be a problem with that connection with audio. We'll try and reconnect with Madhurima there. But remember, this bill has been divided into four parts, and we can see the opposition studying the bill before uh, it, it's put to vote. It's not been uh, implemented yet. Of course, it has not been passed yet. But uh, this is a Republic TV exclusive. We're getting you details of the UCC bill, and it has been bifurcated in uh, four parts. You can see there uh, on your screens. Uh, what we're getting to know is that. Uh, there are four parts, bifurcation in four parts that relates to marriage, succession, living, and miscellaneous. Uh, one of the thing, one of the reports we were gathering on ahead of this tabling of the bill was that uh, every um, all those individuals in living relationships have to declare it officially that they are in living relationship. And of course, there were uh, a lot of uh, speculations over ban on polygamy and many other uh, norms like that. And we will be getting you more uh, details. I'm told Madhurima is. Back with us. Madhurma, please uh, go ahead and tell us more details about uh, the important highlights as far as this uh, bill is concerned. It is absolutely. Now, if you can see at, uh, you know, the prefixed uh, and the tenants of uh, the chapters that have been uh, allocated in the UCC, it talks about the details, right? So succession, how uh, a woman specifically has been given rights uh, of uh, property, of adoption, of divorce, uh, and of course, if you talk about living relationships, uh, that how that should they be registered, and what all provisions uh, will be given by the judiciary as well, and all that so on. It's a detailed draft, Rakshita, we're also, uh, we're also studying it at the moment, but uh, uh, these are the top uh, picks that we are picking up exclusively Exclusively on Republic TV, and uh, I'll try and once again take you inside that particular room where the opposition leaders here are uh, are uh, discussing the matter. Where they are discussing the matter, this is the exclusive visual that we are bringing. Uh, there is a lot of discussion happening here. You can see that all the Congress MLAs, all the Congress MLAs are sitting here, and there's a detailed discussion happening ahead of uh, the discussion that will be uh, held uh, uh, inside the assembly. So we are reporting right now uh, from the Uttarakhand uh, Assembly over here, and uh, those were the exclusive visuals that I just got for viewers from inside, uh, from inside. Uh, uh, the premises where the Congress leaders are discussing in detail as to how they are going to take up the matter when the discussion begins. Sakshita. Give you some time, then you can come up uh, with the, the, the important highlights and more details because this is really, of course, it's a bill and it is very elaborate. It talks about marriage, succession, living, and so on and so forth. And the opposition is also studying it. In fact, there are many uh, reactions that have been coming in from the ruling party and also from the opposition. Let's take a listen into some of those. Raj Sarkar or Mukhyamantri is co. पारित करवाने के लिए बहुत ही उत्सुक हैं और नियम परंपराएं संसदी विधि विधान किसी का भी पालन नहीं किया जा रहा है बल्कि कार्य मंत्रण समिति से कांग्रेस के दोनों सदस्यों को त्यागपत्र देने के लिए बाध्य होना पड़ा है क्योंकि आपने सत्र का एक्सटेंशन किया है तो एक्सटेंशन का अर्थ है कि आप उसको उसी विधि विधान नियमावली से संचालित करेंगे जिससे सामान्य तौर पर विधानसभा का सत्र संचालित होता है प्रश्नकाल होगा लोक महत्व के प्रश्न उठेंगे और फिर विधेयक इत्यादि जो आने हैं वो आएंगे मगर यहाँ कहा जा रहा है नहीं कुछ नहीं करना है केवल ये डाप्ट पेश होगा इसका पालन करना है और डाप्ट किसी को उपलब्ध नहीं है न मीडिया में है और 
जो जहाँ पर उपलब्ध नहीं है आप तत्काल उस पर चर्चा करना चाहते हैं सात आठ सौ नौ सौ पृष्ठों का डाप्ट बताया जा रहा है तो इसलिए मैं अपनी स्टेट लीडरशिप को बहुत बधाई देना चाहता हूँ कि उन्होंने बड़ा बोल्ड डिसीजन लिया उन्होंने कहा ऐसी बात है तो तुमने कार्य मंत्रणा समिति को जो है बिल्कुल इरेलीवेंट कर दिया है नियमों को इरेलीवेंट कर दिया है तो हम उससे त्यागपत्र दे रहे हैं मेरी शिकायत क्योंकि धामी जी की उत्सुकता समझ में आती है क्योंकि उन्होंने बहुत चतुराई से अपना भाजपा के अंदर स्थान बनाने के लिए इस यू का उपयोग किया है मगर केंद्र से मेरी शिकायत यह है कि उन्होंने उत्तराखंड जैसे छोटे राज्य को सीमांत राज्य को जो संवेदनशील राज्य है कई दृष्टिकोणों से आपने उसको टोकनिज्म के लिए इस्तेमाल किया आपने प्रतीकात्मकता के लिए हमारे राज्य को इस्तेमाल किया आ, आपको लाना था यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड अब सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट लेकर के आती जो सारे देश के ऊपर लागू होता Joining us right now is the leader of opposition. जी सर मैं दिल्ली से आई हूँ Joining us right now uh, is the leader of opposition. सर आज किस तरीके की चर्चा हम एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं कांग्रेस के द्वारा यू सी सी पर देखिए हमारा एक आ, हमारा जो ऐतराज है एक तो माननीय विधायक का अधिकारों का हनन हो रहा है जो प्रश्नकाल होता है जो काम रोको प्रस्ताव है जो अन्य विषय होते हैं नियमों के तहत उसको प्रश्नकाल को आज खत्म कर दिया गया है ये माननीय विधायकों के अधिकारों का हनन है और दूसरा जो यू सी का को प्रस्तुतिकरण का प्रश्न है हमने कहा उसको प्रस्तुत कीजिए लेकिन चर्चा के लिए हमें अगले दिन नियत कर दीजिए इतना समय होना चाहिए माननीय विधायकों के पास जिससे कि उसका हम अध्ययन कर सकें परीक्षण कर सकें क्या बिंदुवार हम उसमें देख सकें क्या खामियां हैं क्या उसमें कमियां हैं लेकिन सरकार समय देने से इनकार कर रही है कतरा रही है और आज ही प्रस्तुतिकरण करना चाहती है आज ही वह पारित कराना चाहती है यही हमारा विरोध है क्योंकि मसौदा क्या है ड्राफ्ट क्या है या विधेयक ला रहे हैं ये भी साफ जाहिर नहीं हो पा रहा है लेकिन जानकारी जैसे है कि सात आठ सौ प्रश्नों का मसौदा है ड्राफ्ट है अब वो दो घंटे में हम उसको कितना समझ पाएंगे कितना पढ़ पाएंगे कानूनी तौर पर भी हम उसकी राय ले सकते हैं तो इसके लिए हमें पर्याप्त समय दिया जाना चाहिए सरकार करेंगे कि आज अपोज करेंगे कि आप लोग को समय नहीं मिला अब देखिए हम आज भी हाउस में इसी बात को करेंगे माननीय अध्यक्ष जो हमारे गार्जियन है संरक्षक हैं उनसे भी अनुरोध करेंगे कि हमें पर्याप्त समय दिया जाना चाहिए जी जी देखिए अगर यूसीसी के अंदर कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है जो हमारे मजहब के खिलाफ हो तो हमें कोई एतराज़ नहीं है लेकिन अगर जो कुरान शरीफ ने मुसलमानों को जो हिदायत दी हैं अगर उसके खिलाफ कोई बात होती है तो हम उसे मानने को तैयार नहीं हैं हसन सर लेकिन लेकिन बीजेपी के तमाम नेताओं ने कहा यहाँ थे कि पुष्कर धामी सरकार द्वारा भी ये कहा गया है कि उसमें ऐसा कुछ नहीं है जो मुसलमानों के खिलाफ है महिलाओं को उनका हक और हकूक मिल रहा है जो आज तक नहीं मिला इतने सालों से और साथ ही साथ सभी धर्मों के लिए कानून एक ही रहेगा तो इसमें किसी को भी आपत्ति नहीं होनी चाहिए पिछहत्तर साल से किसी को आपत्ति हुई क्या कि मुस्लिम पर्सन ला से स्मूथली देश चल रहा है आपको आदत पड़ गई है कि टर्माइल पैदा करने की आपको आदत पड़ गई है हिंदू मुसलमान करके वोट पोलराइज करने की ये राजनीति सब लोग समझते हैं और अब ये राजनीति बंद होनी चाहिए इट इज ए पॉलिटिकल एजेंडा ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी सो दे विल नॉट से ट्राई टू इम्प्लीमेंटेडेंट Planning to implement it in West Bengal. Joining back uh, on.
on the broadcast from Dehradun. Uh, Republic TV has accessed the uh, copy of the UCC bill. And uh, Madhurima, of course, uh, we are hearing a lot of voices from the opposition. There are uh, skeptical, there are cynical, in fact, um, way more critical uh, of uh, the UCC provisions. But tell us uh, what could be the flashpoints, what could be areas which could actually be very contentious as far as the implementation of the bill is concerned. Well, Rakshita, if we look at this detailed bill over uh, oh, uh, the draft over here, you can see that how it in length defines the rights and the changes the UCC is going to bring as far as the marriage is concerned, divorces are concerned, live-in is concerned, and the miscellaneous rights uh, have also been defined in detail. As you can see that uh, when we talk about uh, the inheritance, uh, what would be uh, the new, you know, what would be the new jurisdiction in the state of Uttarakhand, how uh, inheritance will be dealt with across religions because un until now there were multiple laws as far as, uh, you know, inheritance rights were concerned, then there were rights of uh, divorce, marriage, adoption, uh, not all religions allowed adoption, then there is, uh, you know, the, there's a detailed uh, discussion about uh, uh, the live-in rights as well and of course uh, when you have a live-in relationship the registration of it and then if at all anything goes south uh, uh, then how to take up uh, it uh, in the courts as well so all that has been defined in detail in this particular draft what needs to be seen here is that now how the opposition is going to react to it we just I just showed you the visuals uh, from uh, the Congress leaders of opposition's uh, room where all the Congress leaders were discussing the matter and what they're opining at the moment is Rakshita, that uh, how uh, this particular, uh, uh, you know, bill would need more detailed discussion and that they would need at least a day's time to go by every bit of, uh, you know, the change that the UCC is going to bring in the current law and how is it going to affect the different section of the society. But the government is saying that you have uh, three days, we still have today, tomorrow and day after the four-day session, uh, special session and we can have in detail, in depth discussion but there cannot be any more delay in UCC because it was a promise that was made by the Bharatiya Janata Party in its manifesto and that it is high time that equal rights be given to all under uh, the umbrella of uh, the UCC. Rakshita. Right. In fact, we are uh, continuously showing to our viewers the uh, copy and the pages uh, of that uh, UCC bill. Of course, a very elaborate. You can see the part three right now. It's millennials part four also. And these have been bifurcated in four parts. You can see that is Republic TV exclusive access by Republic TV, the UCC bill that has just been tabled in the Uttarakhand Assembly right now in Dehradun. And uh, uh, of course, there were Jai Shri Ram slogans, Vande Matram slogans while Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami was uh, tabling that bill. Uh, uh, we can see the copy of it on your screens. Uh, the, the, the House has been adjourned for 2 p.m. Thereafter, we expect some discussion to take place. The opposition is still studying that elaborate bill. Uh, the conditions for contract marriage, for inheritance um, also uh, will uh, are, have been, of course, taken up. Succession, live-in, and other miscellaneous topics have been taken care of, what we understand. And, of course, there are uh, expectations of some opposition from uh, from from the parties. Uh, of course, uh, we, we do know that the assembly has been adjourned till 2 p.m. Thereafter, we see, and as Madhurima was telling us, that there are three days. What we expect that there will be, of course, some sort of, uh, you know, there will be debates on that. Uh, we expect there should not be any kind of disruptions because uh, what the voters want, what the public wants, is a healthy discussion and debate in the House. So that this is something what the country needs is implemented. UCC bill accessed by Republic TV on the screens. Uttarakhand, if this bill is implemented, viewers, this is going to be the first ever implementation of UCC in a state post-independence in the country. And of course, we see governments of Assam, MP, Gujarat have also shown a keen interest in uh, tabling the UCC bill. They all have their eyes on the Uttarakhand uh, UCC bill right now, which is right now on your screens. Uh, there is, of course, a lot of study that is involved in that, uh, so as to have uh, a detailed discussion on the same. Uh, Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has said that this 
civil court will be for the good of all sections. There is no need to worry. That is what he has said. Remember, there has been, of course, security briefed up around the area um, as uh, ahead of the tabling of the bill. It has been tabled now. It's up for discussion. UCC, remember, is a set of law that is aimed to create a set of um, you know, rules and regulations that is uniform, laws that are uniform for everybody to replace the distinct personal laws of religion. We'll get, uh, get you more uh, detailed um, context of that, uh, uh, of that bill. Uh, but right now, uh, thank you so much, Madhurima, for joining us. We will come back to you as uh, uh, there is going to be uh, more discussion and debate in the House once the House resumes. Time for a short break. On the other side, Ahmadi Party alleges witch hunt now says the ED has not been able to gather any evidence since three years. We get you all that and much more on the other side. Stay tuned. 15,000 placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking and proactive professionals. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio model. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. आपने जितनी अचीव की है लाइफ में नहीं नहीं बहुत मुझे लगता है हमेशा ये जरूरी होता है कि आदमी ग्राउंडेड रहे आप कैसे अपने आप को ग्राउंडेड रखते हैं जरूरत से ज्यादा ग्राउंडेड हूँ तो जितनी चाहिए उससे अधिक मैं माँ बाबूजी गांव में ही रहते हैं हर चौथे महीने अपने गांव जाता हूँ और मैं जैसे घर पहुंचता हूँ शूटिंग खत्म करके मैं मैं सिनेमा का आदमी नहीं रहता हूं मैं घर का एक साधारण मेंबर रहता हूं और और क्या बताऊं मेरी ग्राउंडेड की अब मार्केटिंग भी होने लगी है आजकल सहज होना सरल होना भी बहुत ऑर्डिनरी होना एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी हो गया है अब मैं कई बार मुझे ही शक सक होता है कि मैं क्या ग्राउंडेड हूँ या कि ग्राउंडेड होने की एक्टिंग कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि मार्केटिंग <laughs> मार्केटिंग बहुत बड़ी हो चुकी है इसकी हर आदमी बोलता है बिना मेरा एक पिछले दिनों इंटरव्यू कर रहे मैं किसी ने पूछ दिया कि आप भाई आप विनम्र हैं आपके हम्बल होने का कोई फायदा उठाया याद हो तो मैंने जवाब दिया कि भाई किसी ने मेरी विनम्रता का फायदा उठाया और मुझे याद हो फिर कहे कि विनम्रता इसके रील्स बन गए पॉपुलर हो गया तो मुझे कई बार मैं अपने आप को एक्टिंग के थ्रू एक्सप्लोर करने में लगा हूं कि मैं सच में इतना हम्बल हूं मैं जजमेंटल हूं या नहीं हूं जैसे मैं बोला आपसे मिलना चाहता था यानी मेरे मन मैं उसी बीच में सोचा कि मेरे मन में इनको लेके कुछ जजमेंटल था क्या मैं क्या क्या मिलना चाह मैंने सोचा मैं पूछ रहा कुछ था नहीं नहीं था मैंने सोचा कि ऐसा क्यों आया मेरे मन में ये थॉट तो अभिनय एक्टिंग जो है और मेरी बातों में सर मैं थोड़ा एक्टिंग का छात्र हूँ एक्टिंग पर बहुत सोचता हूँ तो कई रेंडम थाट्स आते हैं तो मैं कहीं और की बात किसी और बात में करने लगता हूँ ये मेरी समस्या है क्या बोल रहा था अभी नहीं वही कह रहे थे अब मैंने ग्राउंडेड की बात कही ना हाँ तो मेरे को भी मालूम नहीं मैं मुझे लगता है मैं हूँ और लोगों को लगता है कि मैं बहुत ज्यादा हूँ और ये सुन के मुझे लगता है मुझे और ज्यादा होना चाहिए तो फिर लगता है कि क्या मैं एक्टिंग कर रहा हूँ ग्राउंडेड होने है की आप मूवी इंडस्ट्री में आपको इस तरह से रहना चाहिए ऐसी गाड़ी में जाना चाहिए इसे सौ दो सौ लोगों को साथ में ले जाके मतलब जो एक होता है ना एक क्या बोलते हैं उसको अंग्रेजी में कहते हैं फरना लिया हाँ, हाँ, मतलब जी, जी. एक पूरी नहीं, मुझे पसंद नहीं, नहीं है मुझे मैं मैं अननोन होके चलना चाहता हूँ मैं मास्क लगाता हूँ और इसलिए नहीं कि मुझे कॉमन लोगों के बीच जाना है एक्टर हूँ तो एक्सपीरियंस करना है मैं उसमें सहज पाता हूँ अपने आप को कि मैं चुपके से पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट में बैठ के और बिना कोई ना पहचाने मैं कहीं मैं दस दिन बॉम्बे में अभी मेट्रो से गया शूटिंग करने मैं जब भी गांव जाता हूं मेरे डीएमएसपी बोलते हैं जिले के आप प्लीज बता दो ऐसे मत आया करो हम स्कॉट लगा देंगे ये कर देंगे मुझे पसंद नहीं है मेरे आगे स्कॉट की
Welcome back. A video has surfaced from Farukhabad in UP where uh, Louis Khurshid, who's the wife of senior Congress party lead and former foreign minister Salman Khurshid, is calling for hitting her own party leaders with shoes. Khurshid has said that uh, if any secretary or general secretary comes to Farukhabad questioning the identity of her husband or herself, they should be hit with shoes in front of reporters, she said. All of that that has been captured on camera is a report. भारतीय जनता पार्टी शासित केंद्र सरकार का कि वो अपनी एजेंसीज के माध्यम से आम आदमी पार्टी को डराने की कोशिश कर रही है See, the Ahmadi Party alleges witch hunt says the ED has not been able to gather any evidence since three years. We get you all that and much more on the other side. Stay tuned. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. As everyone knows, Ashok Shigal's one-pointed agenda was Ram Temple. And he was traveling far and wide. The country he has come to me several times. And uh, once when there was a talk between um, with the Shankaracharya and the Muslim person about it all failed. And so he was so disappointed. So he came to me right from Kanchipuram to Bangalore. At the time, I told him, um, you know, I have the intuition, I have this feeling that there is a vision that there is a temple which is dilapidated. Uh, there is a Kali temple, Dev Kali temple. Dev Kali is the Kuldevi of Sri Ram. And that temple is completely in uh, dismay. No proper arrangements are there. This is what I feel. Is there such a temple? I asked him. Then we found out, yes, there are two Kali Mandir, one is Choti Kali, another is Dev Kali Mandir, which is just outskirts of uh, Ayodhya. Then, uh, then he said, no, we have to revive this temple and, uh, you know, uh, reconsecrate that place. So we found a proper muhurt and we went there 
Ashok Singhalji was also present. And uh, several people from Delhi, Mahesh Guptaji was also there with me. And we had uh, all the four Vedic Pandits go there and we reconsecrated the temple. There was a pond right in front of it, it had become just a garbage dump. And that pond was clean and fresh water was brought in there. And Nitya Gopal Das Ji, who was there, was leading the uh, Ram Janambhumi. He was also present. So with all the presence of all the saints and some um, imams also, everybody was present. We had a satsang that evening. And we prayed that uh, uh, this thing should happen. Then again, I had a premonition, this will happen only after 14 years. So, uh, Ashok Singhalji was pressurizing me, was telling me, see, you know Vajpayee you pressurize him. We don't mind even if the government goes, but Ram... Hello and welcome. You're watching Republic News and I'm Guinea Narula. Now the digital age is here, pulsing with possibility. Indian women are soaring in the digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024. Together we will rise, connect and lead. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Dhami tables UCC draft bill in assembly. Draft copy handed over to MLAs. Republic accesses UCC draft, which has been bifurcated into four parts, which is marriage, succession, live-in and miscellaneous. ED raids premises of Kejival's personal secretary and ex-Delhi JAL board member. AAP MP N.D. Gupta's premises raided as well. Bhartiya Janta Party Shasit Kendra Sarkar ka ke wo apni agencies ke madhyam se aam admi party ko darane ki koshish kar rahi hai, dhamkane ki koshish kar rahi hai aur hamari baat ko dabane ki koshish kar rahi hai. Atishi hits out at BJP over ED action, says it is a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate AAP. Prime Minister Modi sends speedy recovery wishes to British monarch King Charles, who has been diagnosed with cancer. Well, big breaking news coming in there that an FIR has been registered under POSCO against an Indian hockey team player in Bangalore. The FIR is directed at Indian hockey team defender Varun Kumar with the victim being a minor who filed the complaint at Gyan Bharti police station. Varun Kumar and the victim girl know each other through Instagram when she was just 17. Varun was training at SAI at that point of time. Well, she alleged that the complaint that on pretext of getting married to her, he raped the girl multiple times from last five years. We have Prajwal joining us live. Prajwal, can you take us through the latest? It's, it's a, a POSCO case registered against Indian hockey player. The girl apparently is now 22 and she was 18 when she has alleged that it was she was being raped by this hockey player. So is it love gone wrong, misuse of POSCO or what is the story behind it? 
Okay, it is uh, now on preliminary investigations. It has been proven that uh, this is clearly a POXO case as well because uh, if it is a misuse of POXO case, it would not have been registered in the first place as well. So therefore, a POXO case has been registered in the Gnanabharti police station and uh, Bengaluru West uh, limits as uh, well against uh, Varun Kumar, who is an Indian defender and a hockey player who has over uh, 60 international matches uh, under his belt as well. And from what we get to understand now, a team of police uh, from uh, Bengaluru City have already gone to Punjab as well in uh, search of uh to Punjab too and uh, later it is now being understood that he was in the Sports Authority of India campus uh, in 2019 at which point of time he's gone ahead and seen the girl and according to the complaint copy quoting the girl she states that in 2018 Varun Kumar had made his approach towards the girl but the girl had uh, rejected all his approaches and later he had sent a few of his friends and the friends had uh, also in fact told the victim uh, and asked her uh, to you know be friends with Varun Kumar as well because he would also help her in her career to and uh, she had not given permission but in 2019 they befriended each other and started texting to each other on social media as well and later somewhere in the mid of 2019 this girl has been uh, asked to come to a, uh, to a hotel in a posh locality as well and from that uh, they got to understand that after having dinner the girl was also taken into a room on the protect wanted to talk to her and uh, after that uh, he's also sexually forced himself on her is what the complaint copy has stated and apart from that he also promised to marry the girl and for the past five years uh, he's uh, been sexually active with the girl as well promising to marry her but after the demise of the girl's uh, father uh, he had uh, objected uh, objected to marrying her and also threatened her that uh, he would leak intimate photos of uh, of the girl as well on social media if she threatened uh, with the uh, marriage as well. And therefore, on that uh, backdrop, uh, this particular victim has now gone ahead and filed a complaint at the Gnan Bharti police station because the Sports Authority of India comes uh, in its uh, limits as well. So therefore, a case was registered to, and after learning about his whereabouts, it is now being understood that Varun uh, is... Uh, presently in Punjab as well and therefore a team of police officials have gone to nab him. There has been no sort of medical test that has been conducted though because this particular act has been conducted though because this particular act has gone on from 2019 to 2024. It's a period of five years as well. So how go ahead and prove this is something that needs to be seen at this point of time there is also a lot of digital evidence and digital trial which the cops will be going through and in the due course of the time uh, they will be going ahead and revealing more details as this is a poxo case and the girl at that point of time was minor but she is a major now Well, thank you, Prajwal, for that update. Um, FIR registered at Posco against Indian hockey team player in Bangalore. Moving on, the Enforcement Directorate... The Enforcement Directorate conducted searches at premises of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jriwal's personal secretary, Aap Rajya Sabha MP N.D. Gupta, and some people... and some people... As many as 12, as many as 12 premises in Delhi and the National Capital Region were being covered as part of the raids. The locations of Bibhav Kumar, Kejriwal's personal secretary and former Delhi Jal Board member Shalab Kumar. Apart from this, some others were also being covered by officials of the probe agency. Apart from Bibhav and Shalab, the ED officials conducted raids at the residence of N.D. Gupta, who is also the party's treasurer. The money laundering case pertains to the alleged irregularities in tendering process of the DJP. Meanwhile, the AAP has hit out at the BJP, calling the crackdown nothing but a witch hunt. ED Prevention of Money Laundering Act के तहत केस करता है तो सबसे पहली और सबसे जरूरी चीज है कि ED को recovery of money करनी पड़ेगी लेकिन दो साल में सैकड़ों रेड के बाद भी एक रुपे की भी recovery ED नहीं कर पाई है कई ऐसी statements किसी accused से, किसी सरकारी गवाह से, किसी witness से ली गई उसके बाद कई विटनेस सामने आए और उन्होंने ये कहा 
कि उनसे स्टेटमेंट दबाव पूर्वक डलवाया गया लिखवाया गया और आपको पता है जब ईडी ने वो फुटेज दी तो उन्होंने उस फुटेज का ऑडियो डिलीट कर दिया सिर्फ वीडियो फुटेज दी गई ऑडियो फुटेज डिलीट कर दी गई और सारा एविडेंस कि वास्तविक तौर पे उस कमरे में क्या बात हुई थी उस सारे एविडेंस को ईडी द्वारा डिलीट कर दिया गया है और आज जो मैं खुलासा करने जा रही हूं वो आपको ये दिखा देगा कि ये सारी स्टेटमेंट्स फर्जी हैं कि ईडी ने सारी स्टेटमेंट्स में फर्जी वाड़ा किया हुआ है Right uh, we are joined by our colleague to get us the latest details uh if you can take us through the latest de- if you can take us through the de- latest detail as we understand that ED has raided 10 premises of Kejriwal what is the latest out there So you mentioned rightly that there have been 12 locations that have been uh, raided by the enforcement directorate and this is in addition to the liquor gate probe which the enforcement directorate is doing while i speak i would just want my video journalist to just show the images of the residents of nd gupta now he is a rajya sabha member of parliament of amani party and he also as rightly mentioned by you is a treasurer of amani party now his premises along with 11 other premises have been uh, raided by the enforcement directorate 7 am this morning uh, in addition in uh, context to the uh, scam reportedly that occurred in the delhi jal board scam now let me just tell you what exactly the scam is all about as per the complaint that was received by the anti corruption bureau of uh, delhi government to begin with there were allegations that uh, there was a uh, false tender that was given to a company called nkg infrastructure of 38 crore there were also another allegation of how automatic meters was been put by a private company the money for which was not deposited to uh, the delhi jal board so yes based on these allegations the complaint first uh, went to uh, from acb to uh, CB, uh, central bureau of investigation and then subsequently to the enforcement directorate uh enforcement directorate has already made a arrest in this case uh, last month and now uh, in order to get some more leads in order to get some more evidence you are seeing that how there are raids that are being uh, committed uh, in the residences of uh, narayan das gupta which is nd gupta along with uh, 11 other premises by the enforcement directorate it is going to be important to see that from here uh, what evidences uh, and further leads the enforcement directorate is going to get as far as the reported uh, scam the reported corruption the reported irregularities in the delhi jal board is concerned but yes at the end of it i can just tell you that trouble does seem to mount for uh, arm adibadi convener uh, arvind kejriwal and you also saw that the friction between the aam aadmi party and the central agencies specifically the enforcement directorate further grew as today the prominent leader of aam aadmi party uh, atishi made a stunning allegation of how the central agency is not keeping the recording it is not keeping the images of all the uh, interrogation of all the probe detail which it is having with the accused in the uh, uh, other scams uh, which it is right now uh, reporting and which it right now it is probing at the end i would also like to say that tomorrow is going to be a very important day because enforcement directorate has already put a petition in the court wherein they have mentioned that amadi party convener arvind kejriwal is not uh, cooperating as far as the uh, probe in the arish liquor gate scam is concerned so taking this into consideration along with the liquor gate one can only say that the friction between the central agency specifically the ed and amadi party is only growing back to the studio Thank you Piyush for that update. Uh now serious allegations the ED search 10 premises of uh up and uh, serious allegations made by the up there. They say that the intention is to topple the government. We have Simran joining us live to give us more details. Simran, there are some serious allegations by the up saying that the ED has acquired no evidence so far.
Simran. Simran, uh, could you take us through the allegations by the AAP? They are saying that the ED has acquired no evidence so far. Well, yes, what we can understand from this point of time, one after the other, the AAP has come out refuting all the actions that are taken out by the central probe agencies, whether it's ED or CBI, against any of the people who have been closely associated with the party, the top party post, and also the former ministers in the party and also of the Delhi government. But what we can understand from this point is that AAP has been maintaining its stand, saying that all these actions in concern with the raids, with the scams, are of no basis and just shortly uh, 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 just shortly before this these raids were conducted the we have seen how uh, atishi delhi minister has come out and saying that all these raids are done to stop the party from exposing the lies of the ed remember ed as we have been also uh, coming, uh, we have been telling that has been conducting raids on the basis of the evidence that has come out by the complaint that was lodged by the CBI in July 2022. ED has been checking uh, the details for the investigation of a fraud, of a scam that amounts to uh, nearly 38 crores in the Jal Delhi Jal Board. But AAP has been saying that uh, ED has not been, not been acting uh, independently and on the behest of the central ruling party they are going to stop the uh, the the government uh, at presently in rule in delhi from exposing the uh, powers of the independent company back to you back to you well, thank you, Simran, on that latest update. Um, all these raids politically motivated, according to our members. Now, the BJP, meanwhile, has hit back at the Aam Aadmi Party, saying any irregularities must be probed thoroughly. Listen in to some of the reactions coming in. Atishi ji, idhar udhar ki baat mat karo, ye batao, koon se MLA the Aam Aadmi Party ke jinko Bharti Janta Party ne approach kiya hai. Aur Aam Aadmi Party ye batae, BJP के उन नेताओं का नाम जिन्होंने आम आदमी पार्टी के विधायकों को तोड़ने की कोशिश करी है मुझे उम्मीद थी कि आज जब आपने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करी आप मीडिया के सामने आके उन सातों एमएलए को पेश करते और नाम बताते भारतीय जनता पार्टी के उन लोगों का जिन्होंने इन लोगों को अप्रोच किया है लेकिन आप जो हैं हर बार की तरह मीडिया में आके सनसनी फैलाने की कोशिश करती रही लेकिन झूठ जो है वो ज्यादा दिन टिकता नहीं है आपकी जो स्ट्रेटजी है आपकी और अरविंद केजरीवाल की कि आरोप लगाओ और भाग जाओ वो अब चलने वाला नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने कंप्लेन करी है पुलिस के अंदर आप पुलिस को जितनी मर्जी गालियां निकालिए पुलिस अपना काम कर रही है लेकिन आपको और आपके नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल को उस बीजेपी के नेता का नाम बताना होगा जो आप कह रही हैं कि उन लोगों को विधायकों को अप्रोच किया है इसलिए ये झूठ बोलना बंद करिए और देश से माफी मांगिए कि आपने मीडिया में आके सनसनी फैलाने की कोशिश करी है और कुछ नहीं है लोटस वन भी यही था और जो लोटस टू है ये दोनों बार जो आपने झूठ बोला है आपका पर्दाफाश हो चुका है अब ये झूठ जो है सबके सामने आ चुका है इसलिए देश से माफी मांगिए यही आपके लिए बेटर होगा पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके सभी साथी ये सब भ्रष्टाचार में लिप्त हैं और जांच एजेंसी जो अपना काम कर रही है ये सही महीनों में भ्रष्टाचार को उजागर करने का काम है और जिस तरह से माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा कि ये मोदी की गारंटी है कि सरकारी खजाने से लूटी गई एक एक पाई वसूली जाएगी इन्होंने भ्रष्टाचार किया है शराब घोटाले में भ्रष्टाचार किया है मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग की है जल बोर्ड में घोटाला किया है तो आज जो ये कार्रवाई चल रही है एक बार जांच एजेंसी की रिपोर्ट आनी चाहिए उसके बाद तथ्य सामने आएंगे लेकिन इस जांच का हम स्वागत करते हैं आज आम आदमी पार्टी की कई नेताओं के घर ईडी ने रेड की और ये रेड दिल्ली जल बोर्ड के घोटाले को लेकर है मैं याद करा दूं दिल्ली के लोगों को ये वही घोटाला है जिसको अरविंद केजरीवाल जी कहा करते थे कि प्राइवेट कॉन्ट्रैक्टरों को काम दे रखा है और इसमें हजारों करोड़ रुपया वो लूट रहे हैं वही कॉन्ट्रैक्टर आज भी हैं कॉन्ट्रैक्टर बदले नहीं पहले वो कहां पैसे देते थे आज अरविंद केजरीवाल जी और उनके साथियों को वही करोड़ों रुपया मिल रहा है हजारों करोड़ रुपया और अब अतिशी जी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके उल्टा चोर कोतवाल को डांटे कह रही हैं हम सवाल पूछते हैं 
अतिशी जी दिल्ली के लोग आपसे सवाल पूछते हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने क्यों ये पॉलिसी बदली क्यों दो परसेंट से दस परसेंट और सात परसेंट से बारह परसेंट शराब के कॉन्ट्रैक्टरों को काम देने के लिए पॉलिसी को बदला गया क्यों जिन मित्रों को इन्होंने काम दिया उनके चलते सताईस सौ तिरासी करोड़ रुपए का दिल्ली की सरकार को नुकसान हुआ और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के दोस्तों को बहुत करोड़ रुपए का लाभ हुआ क्यों अभी तक आप इस बात का जवाब नहीं देते मनीष सिसोदिया जी की जमानत के दौरान जिस तरह से तीन करोड़ रुपए की मनी ट्रेल की सामने आई उस पर आप आज भी जवाब क्यों नहीं देना चाहते जवाब इस बात का दीजिए कि क्यों संजय सिंह जी ने एस बनाकर शराब का काम लिया शराब घोटाला किया इन सभी सवालों के जवाबों के बजाय आप उल्टे सवाल पूछ रहे हैं लेकिन दिल्ली के लोग समझ चुके हैं आतिशी जी अब आपको जवाब देना होगा ये शराब घोटाले के साथ साथ जल बोर्ड के घोटाले में वो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को क्यों काम दिया गया जिन्होंने करोड़ों रुपया पहले भी सरकारों में कमाया और अब भी हजारों करोड़ रुपया दिल्ली का लूट कर ले जा रहे हैं इन सब सवालों का जवाब देना पड़ेगा बातें बदलने इधर उधर की बात बदलने से बात नहीं बदलने वाली जवाब तो देना पड़ेगा A kg for 30 kg packs. So, lit literally 2.97 lakh metric tons of chana have been sold already uh, uh, by the uh, by 31st January 2024 at that price, and which is therefore an effort as a result of the effort that we have taken. And these uh, uh, Bharat Dal branded dal, which is coming at a concessional price, is available in ONDC. in blinket geomart and all other big retail outlets so such steps have been taken for tomatoes and others as well so not only is the government ceased as the honorable members saying of the uh, difficulties which arise due to perishable or uh, commodities which are not grown in india a committee sits reviews periodically and efforts have shown result on the ground that the inflation level is now within the tolerable plant dr am tambid rai thank you very much for the minister reply sir the another thing reasons for the retail price is the price of the diesel and petrol government is taking the central government reducing the price i want to know from honorable minister whether this government is directing like state governments like tamil nadu which promised in the election measure to reduce the price not to reduce the petrol vat price whether the government will aware and direct the public neva bupa studio your one stop for all the breaking updates i am rakshita mishra से हाँ आपने हाँ। जितनी अचीव की है लाइफ में नहीं नहीं बहुत मुझे लगता है हमेशा ये जरूरी होता है कि आदमी ग्राउंडेड रहे आप कैसे अपने आप को ग्राउंडेड रखते हैं जरूरत से ज्यादा ग्राउंडेड हूँ <laughs> <laughs> तो जितनी चाहिए उससे अधिक मैं माँ बाबू जी गाँव में ही रहते हैं हर चौथे महीने अपने गाँव जाता हूँ और मैं जैसे घर पहुँचता हूँ शूटिंग खत्म करके मैं मैं सिनेमा का आदमी नहीं रहता हूं मैं घर का एक साधारण मेंबर रहता हूं और और क्या बताऊं मेरी ग्राउंडेड की अब मार्केटिंग भी होने लगी है आजकल सहज होना सरल होना भी बहुत ऑर्डिनरी होना एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी हो गया है अब मैं कई बार मुझे ही शक शक होता है कि मैं क्या ग्रा, ग्राउंडेड हूँ या कि ग्राउंडेड होने की एक्टिंग कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि मार्केटिंग <laughs> मार्केटिंग बहुत बड़ी हो चुकी है इसकी हर आदमी बोलता है विनम्र है एक पिछले दिनों इंटरव्यू कर रही है मैं किसी ने पूछ दिया कि आप भाई आप विनम्र हैं आपके हम्बल होने का कोई फायदा उठाया याद हो तो मैंने जवाब दिया कि भाई किसी ने मेरी विनम्रता का फायदा उठाया और मुझे याद हो फिर कहे कि विनम्रता इसके रील्स बन गए पॉपुलर हो गया तो मुझे कई बार मैं अपने आप को एक्टिंग के थ्रू एक्सप्लोर करने में लगा हूँ कि मैं सच में इतना हम्बल हूँ मैं जजमेंटल हूँ या नहीं हूँ जैसे मैं बोला आपसे मिलना चाहता था यानी मेरे मन मैं उसी बीच में सोचा कि मेरे मन में इनको लेके कुछ जजमेंटल था क्या मैं क्या मिलना चाह मैंने सोचा नहीं, मैं पूछ रहा कुछ था। नहीं नहीं था मैंने सोचा 
कि ऐसा क्यों आया मेरे मन में ये थॉट तो अभिनय एक्टिंग जो है और मेरी बातों में सर मैं थोड़ा एक्टिंग का छात्र हूँ एक्टिंग पर बहुत सोचता हूँ तो कई रेंडम थॉट्स आते हैं तो मैं कहीं और की बात किसी और बात में करने लगता हूँ ये मेरी समस्या है क्या बोल रहा था अभी नहीं वही कह रहे थे अब मैंने ग्राउंडेड की बात कही हाँ तुम तो मेरे को भी मालूम नहीं मैं मुझे लगता है मैं हूँ और लोगों को लगता है कि मैं बहुत ज्यादा हूँ और ये सुन के मुझे लगता है मुझे और ज्यादा होना चाहिए तो फिर लगता है कि क्या मैं एक्टिंग कर रहा हूँ ग्राउंडेड होने की आप मूवी इंडस्ट्री में आपको इस तरह से रहना चाहिए ऐसी गाड़ी में जाना चाहिए इसे सौ दो सौ लोगों को साथ में ले जाके मतलब जो एक होता है ना एक क्या बोलते हैं उसको अंग्रेजी में कहते हैं हाँ, हाँ, मतलब एक नहीं, एक, मुझे पसंद नहीं, नहीं है मुझे मैं मैं अननोन होकर चलना चाहता हूँ मैं मास्क लगाता हूँ और इसलिए नहीं कि मुझे कॉमन लोगों के बीच जाना है एक्टर हूँ तो एक्सपीरियंस करना है मैं उसमें सहज पाता हूँ अपने आप को कि मैं चुपके से पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट में बैठ के और बिना कोई ना पहचाने मैं कहीं मैं दस दिन बॉम्बे में अभी मेट्रो से गया शूटिंग करने मैं जब भी गांव जाता हूं मेरे डीएमएसपी बोलते हैं जिले के आप प्लीज़ बता दो ऐसे मत आया करो हम स्कॉट लगा देंगे ये कर देंगे मुझे पसंद नहीं है मेरे आगे स्कॉट की गाड़ी चले मैं बस में मास्क और टोपी लगा के लोगों के साथ बैठ के हैप्पीली घर चला जाऊँगा और कोई ना जाने मैं ऐसे ही घर जाता हूँ और आता हूँ बहुत बढ़िया तो मुझे वो पसंद नहीं है बहुत बढ़िया ये भी अच्छा लगा आपने जो कहा घर जाता हूं तो बिल्कुल मतलब द डिजिटल एज इज हियर पासिंग विद पॉसिबिलिटी इंडियन वुमेन आर सोरिंग इन दिस डिजिटल एज जॉइन अस एट द रिपब्लिक इंडिया वुमेन समिट 2024 टुगेदर वी विल राइज कनेक्ट एंड लीड Now in Mengaluru a case of moral policing was reported from Parambur members of a right wing group intercepted a muslim boy walking on a beach with a hindu girl creating disturbance the police promptly arrived at the scene and arrested three members of the group involved in the incident they were only friends as well and uh, the girl was hailing from bengaluru and she had uh, come to mangaluru on an excursion and then she contacted this particular boy who was also working in her company as well but he was working in the mangaluru branch at which point of time he's taken her to the panambur beach which is also one of the tourist destinations which is uh, frequented very often as well and when they were taking a stroll on the beach as well uh, a group of around uh, 10 to 15 people have uh, mobbed them and then they have started questioning the girl they were also haras the boy as well and they have also spoken to him in unparliamentary language to at uh, which point of time a few locals noticing this particular ruckus informed the police uh, who came in immediately as well and uh, finally intervened and made sure that nothing would happen but at the same point of time you can also see that uh, this particular right wing group as well as those uh, miscreants who were present there have snatched the mobile phone of the boy as well and they are going ahead and questioning asking them to show their personal chats on uh, social media and they are asking as to why were these chats deleted to and the girl uh, vehemently opposes it stating that they are only friends and she's come here only for an excursion and nobody has the right to go ahead and question her as to what she is going ahead and doing and she also reprimands them stating that you are not the ones who will be speaking about love jihad to me and what gives you the moral rights to stop me with going around with my friend as well so this has created a lot of uh, uproar as well because remember that in uh, dakshina kannada especially in mangaluru since the karnataka government came to power there have been over 7 activists who have already been uh, sent away who have already been sent away to the other districts mainly known as gadipar and they have been sent away because of their anti social activities too and also an anti communal wing was also set up an anti moral policing squad was also set up there by home minister dr g parmeshwara and the squad reports directly to the home minister to if there are any cases of moral policing they immediately act on it and therefore this particular squad was also present and Three of them have been taken into custody, and FIR has already been lodged. Time for a short break. On the other side, Republic accesses UCC draft, which has been bifurcated into four parts, which is marriage, succession, live-in, and miscellaneous. I always felt. 
that there was some something which was preventing the hindus from expressing their true feelings as hindus and as nationalists and as a part of uh, people in public discourse i had the fortune of being associated with the ramjan bobu movement from the word go he started in 1983 but there is a background to it it is not that that this movement originated on the basis of hindu muslim relationship in post independence india but it happened long back all this came out in the course of the exchange of documents between hindus and muslims as to how the ram janmabhoomi movement evolved from the 18th century early part of the 18th century and uh, the british had recorded it a british judge had recorded in 1886 when a suit was filed to take possession of the ram janmabhoomi he recorded that it is unfortunate that a hindu temple was demolished and a mosque has been built on its place but it is very difficult for me after this uh, length of time to hand over the premises to the hindus this was the helplessness of a uh, government with a judicial system which had very limited scope to intervene in these matters but the historicity of this was established by series of uh, struggles which the hindus uh, undertook by, by way of military expedition by way of war diplomacy and it all culminate cul- every time there was some physical clash the last was in 1934 when several hundreds of hindus were killed according to the british records so the hindus have been struggling for it on the basis of their uh, continuous uh, belief and the claiming the right to worship the- Hello and a very warm welcome viewers. I'm Aksha Mishra with you. Let's get started with the bulletin. But first, let us tell you about our uh, Women's Summit. The Digital Age viewers is here, pulsing with possibility. And Indian women are soaring in this digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024 as together we will rise, connect and lead. Time for headlines now. Samaan Nagis Sanita. उत्तराखंड विधेयक दो हजार चौबीस को प्रस्थापित करने हेतु सदन की अनुज्ञा चाहता हूँ Tables, UCC draft bill in assembly. Slogans of Vande Mataram and Jai Sri Ram. Raised draft copy handed over to the MLAs. Republic TV accesses draft copy of Uttarakhand draft bill only the only channel with UCC draft copy ED raids at the premises of Kejriwal's personal secretary and ex Delhi Jal board member Amani Party MP ND Gupta's premises raided also Bharatiya Janata Party shasit Kendra Sarkar ka कि वो अपनी एजेंसी के माध्यम से आम आदमी पार्टी को डराने की कोशिश कर रही है धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारी बात को दबाने की कोशिश कर रही है 
After she hits out at the BJP over ED action, says it's a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate the Amani party. DMK and Congress stage a walkout from Lok Sabha over Tamil Nadu relief fund issue. Prime Minister launches India Energy Week 2024 in Goa, says targeting net zero emissions by 2027. Right, we start with some breaking developments coming in from Chandigarh. This with regards to the mayor polls after the Supreme Court pulled up the presiding officer for conducting mayor elections of Chandigarh. Congress is now protesting against the presiding officer. Youth Congress is staging protests against the presiding officer and it's demanding case against him. Remember, even the CGI had, of course, uh, slammed uh, the officer and used some really harsh words, also uh, slamming the actions and calling out uh, what was done in this mayoral polls and the fight, the political fight, of course, is only intensifying. The face off is intensifying. My colleague Amandeep joins us on the broadcast for more. Uh, Amandeep, take us through what are you witnessing right now? Well, Rakshita, absolutely. After the observe, strong observation of Supreme Court, so now the Congress has, as well as Aam Aadmi Party is hitting out the roads against the presiding officer. So today, Youth Congress of Chandigarh has staged the protest against the presiding officer Anil Masi with the demand to arrest him, with the demand to register the case against him. So here you can see that the, by uh, putting out the photographs and the black color on the face of uh, presiding officer Anil Masi, they are demanding the arrest of uh, presiding officers even after when yesterday supreme court has given a very strong observations against uh, presiding officer for conducting the mayor polls on 30th of uh, 30th of january and after that, both Aam Aadmi Party and Congress Party, they are claiming their own victory and they are believing that Supreme Court is still that is upholding the democratic system during the mayor polls as well. So here you can see, so we will try to listen that what these uh, Congress protesters has to say regarding this. अभी तक सरकार सोई हुई है हम हर रोज जो चंडीगढ़ के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है या पूरे देश का एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है उसको अलग-अलग तरीके से जगाने की कोशिश करेंगे कि जो आपने लोकतंत्र की हत्या इस इंसान के थ्रू बीजेपी वालों ने कराई है इसका खामी आ जा उनको भुगतना पड़ेगा और जो उन्होंने किया है वो सामने आकर उनको बताना पड़ेगा क्या डिमांड करते हैं डिमांड ये है कि इस इंसान के ऊपर कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए सख्त से सख्त और जल्द से जल्द इस इंसान को देशद्रोह का इसके ऊपर पर्चा होना चाहिए uh, in fact, Rakshita, they are demanding the same thing which the Aam Aadmi Party was repeating that sedition case should be registered against the presiding officer. So, so you can see that the photographs, they are coming out with the photograph and the effigy also and uh, they, uh, they have put the black paint on the face of the presiding officer with a symbolic protest that the, uh, how this entire elections have been conducted on January 30th. They are protesting since day one and the eight votes of uh, Aam Aadmi Party and Congress turned out invalid and they are blaming that presiding officer has done the mischief by make, uh, uh, while putting some uh, marks on the ballot papers and finally that declared invalid. And even yesterday Supreme Court also has taken a very strong observation on the entire election process after witnessing the video that was recorded during uh, the mayor polls that how presiding officer has killed the democracy. He had made the mockery of democracy and in fact he should be prosecuted. So this is how. On other side, the Aam Aadmi Party is simultaneously protesting continuously outside the MC office as well. So this is how this political controversy is being escalated for Chandigarh mayor polls and even the, uh, after the observation of Supreme Court, there is another. The fresh, uh, the fresh uh, uh, fight has been escalated among the political parties. Congress and Aam Aadmi Party, this was the first election when they have shared the seats in Chandigarh mayor uh, polls and in fact the first election they, are, they fought in the alliance of Indy and the first the first election they fought in the alliance and in fact they fall down and now they are taking up the issue and in fact now they are hitting out the roads against the BJP against the presiding of officer with the demand of a sedition case against him. Yes Rakshita. 
Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Amandi, for getting us those uh, inputs from Ground Zero and uh, details on that story. So Congress now uh, demanding case against uh, the presiding officer. We'll move on to some more breaking news coming in right now, viewers. This is a massive setback being reported to the BRS ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. BRS Sepetal Palli MP has joined the Congress party. Now, this is a huge setback to the BRS now as two MPs have joined the Congress party. So this is a big update we have. We are getting in BRS. Uh, remember, uh, BRS lost the, ele the elections in Telangana. Telang uh, Congress is ruling Telangana state. And now, jumping ship are two MPs from the BRS uh, now ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. So this comes as a huge setback for the Congress uh, for 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 the BRS uh, as Congress gets two of their uh, uh, MPs uh, this ahead of the. Uh, Lok Sabha elections. So this is a big update. Who are these MPs? We are waiting for details on that. Uh, my colleague Aniri joins us live from uh, for, uh, on, on, for more on that. Uh, tell us more details about this. Uh, this uh, of course, is a setback for uh, the BRS. So who are these MPs, and uh, what uh, sort of uh, reason, or what, what did they, did we see that coming? Well, uh, Rakshana, definitely a big setback for BRS because uh, BRS MP uh, from Pedda has now joined the Congress. Well, definitely uh, this is a big setback because just in few months from now, we uh, will be seeing uh, parliament elections taking place and ahead of that, BRS leaders are leaving and expressing unhappiness uh, in the functioning of the BRS party is definitely a big setback. And also at the same time, remember Congress, which has uh, ma uh, which has been able to form the government here in the state of Telangana just to, uh, around two months back had seen how Congress had formed the government and also at the same time now what we are seeing is that Congress expresses confidence of winning at least 14 seats here in the state of Telangana in the uh, in the Lok, uh, Lok Sabha elections which will be happening uh, uh, in a few months from now but also at the same time we have been seeing that BRS uh, seems to be saying that they also will be able to manage with the numbers but um, uh, at the same time very important point which is uh, here is that they Devan Reddy, the Telangana Chief Minister, who met Sonia Gandhi yesterday, he also had made an appeal to Sonia Gandhi to contest from Telangana state and also uh, because she was the one who had given a state, uh, Telangana state, a separate state she was announced by UPA government and that is the reason why Devan Reddy was seen to contest from Telangana state parliament polls. But also right now when we talk about developments coming in, we are... Joined uh, the, uh, the Congress party head of the parliament, which is a big stack for the big. All right. Thank you so much, Aneri, for joining us with those details uh, from Hyderabad. The big setback coming in for the BRS party now. Two MPs joining the Congress ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. And now we're moving on to the top story we are tracking. The Uttarakhand Assembly has introduced the legislation on the uh, Uniform Civil Code in the State Assembly today. Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami at the forefront of his move said that the proposed bill will not only be for the will only be for the good of all sections. It will also align with Prime Minister Modi's vision of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas and Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. Republic TV in fact has uh, accessed the draft which has been bifurcated in four parts which is marriage, succession, live-in and miscellaneous and the bill member has been tabled. We expect the assembly to resume at uh, 2 p.m. We expect the, uh, uh, the, the house to resume at 2 p.m. in Dehradun but uh, opposition parties, you can see their opposition leaders studying the UCC draft bill and we expect that there will be of course a lot of uh, intense discussion and debate because this is going to be historic viewers this is going to be the first time post independence that we will see if at all this bill is passed that a state implements the ucc take a look at some reactions coming in raj sarkar aur mukhyamantri isko parit karwane ke liye bahut hi उत्सुक हैं और नियम परंपराएं संसदी विधि विधान किसी का भी पालन नहीं किया जा रहा है बल्कि कार्य मंत्रालय समिति से कांग्रेस के दोनों सदस्यों को त्यागपत्र देने के लिए बाध्य होना पड़ा है क्योंकि आपने 
सत्र का एक्सटेंशन किया है तो एक्सटेंशन का अर्थ है कि आप उसको उसी विधि विधान नियमावली से संचालित करेंगे जिससे सामान्य तौर पर विधानसभा का सत्र संचालित होता है प्रश्नकाल होगा ढाई बेड भी प्रति हजार लोगों के ऊपर नहीं है जो वायदा किया था कि 900 प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर्स बनाए जाएंगे वो प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर तो बंद हो गए हैं और काफी सारे प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर्स बंद हो गए हैं और जो संख्या है वो कहीं 200-300 के आसपास पहुंची हुई है और जो प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर की जगह पर सब हेल्थ सेंटर्स के नाम पे वो मोहल्ला क्लिनिक जो है वो बनाए गए और एक एक जो टिन शेड कहूंगी मैं जो माचिस की डिब्बियों के बराबर जो इन्होंने पोटा कैबिन बनाए हैं वो भी पचास पचास लाख चालीस पैंतालीस लाख का एक एक खर्चा इन्होंने बताया है जो सेंट्रलाइज प्रोक्योरमेंट स्कीम थी ड्रग्स की वो ड्रग के प्रोक्योरमेंट में बात हुई थी पारदर्शिता की ट्रांसपेरेंसी की वहां पर सबसे ज्यादा घोटाला जो है वो उसमें पाया गया सीपीए के अंदर और कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव मैनर ऑडिट की रिपोर्ट है वो भी काम इन्होंने ठीक से नहीं किया है बजट रीअलोकेशन जो हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की है वो भी आप सब जानते हैं कि उसमें भी गड़बड़ है पर क्योंकि ये मामले अभी कोर्ट कचहरी के आगे है झूठा एफिडेविट इन्होंने फाइल किया है तो एक नया घोटाला सामने आता है जल बोर्ड का घोटाला हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का घोटाला और इनके जो आज ईडी ने आ, काम किया है जो आप ही लोगों के माध्यम से जो हमारे सामने कुछ डिटेल आई है उस डिटेल में यही पता चला है कि इनके दो लोग जिसमें वैभव विभव 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 कुमार और शलभ कुमार आ, साथ में एन डी गुप्ता जो ट्रेजरर हैं आम आदमी पार्टी के ऐसे कई लोगों के यहाँ लोकेशंस में दिल्ली जल बोर्ड संबंधित और ईडी संबंधित घोटाले में इनके यहाँ पर रेड्स जो है वो आ, चल रही हैं और जो पर्सनल सिक्योर सेक्रेटरी हैं विप्लव वैभव कुमार दिल्ली मुख्यमंत्री के वही इस मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग केस में इन्वॉल्व है मैं आपके माध्यम से ये बात बताना चाहती हूँ और दिल्ली की जनता को खास तौर पर कि पांच समन आ चुके हैं पांच समन में से एक भी इन्होंने अटेंड नहीं किया है और लगातार झूठ की व्यवस्था इन्होंने कायम की है और एक ही प्रश्न है कि जब आतिशी मरलेना प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करती हैं वो तमाम इधर उधर की बात जरूर कर रही हैं लेकिन ये नहीं बता रही कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ईडी के सम्मन के जवाब में ईडी के सामने कौन सी तारीख को कितने समय पर पेश होने जा रहे हैं तो आपके माध्यम से मैं ये प्रश्न सीधे तौर पर करी हूं कि वेन आर यू गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट योर सेल्फ बिफोर दी ईडी और सीटी uh, स्कैन के बारे में मैंने बताया कि तीन सीटी स्कैन है uh, दिल्ली के एक तीन करोड़ लोगों के ऊपर स्कूलों के अंदर टीचर्स नहीं है अस्पतालों में डॉक्टर्स नहीं है बेड्स यहां पर नहीं है तो पूरी दिल्ली को वेंटिलेटर पर व्यवस्था को वेंटिलेटर पर डालने का काम जो है वो केजरीवाल ने किया है और जो लोग वायदा करके आए थे कि हम सबसे ज्यादा ईमानदार कट्टर ईमानदारी का वायदा करने वाले लोगों ने आज कट्टर बेईमान लोग कौन होते हैं उसको परिभाषित कर दिया है अनंत सूत्र एक तरफ सिविलाइजेशन का सभ्यता का हम वो बातें करते हैं लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी ने ड्रामा भ्रष्टाचार झूठ का जो अनंत सूत्र तैयार किया है वो लगातार दिल्ली की जनता और देश की जनता जो है उससे परिचित हो रही है फ्रेंड्स I am here to uh, bring to notice couple of things that health infrastructure of any state is actually the backbone of a state because people's health is imperative. Considering all the efforts central government is making, Delhi government is falling short of its uh, efforts, and they have put the entire governance model on the ventilator. Delhi's governance model is basically has been put on the ventilator. ED has summoned. Uh, fifth time the chief minister of delhi 
and after his uh, summons uh, avoiding summons for the fifth time my straight question is when a minister like atishi marlena comes and holds a press conference and does every other thing uh, ask questions of all kinds but refuses to answer as to on which date at what time chief minister of delhi arvind kejriwal is going to present himself before the ed because he is avoiding the summons there were close to 1000 primary health centers in delhi which have been undermined and have been shut down have been closed and only a minuscule number a few hundred is left in the city and only sub health centers is what you get to see in the form of uh, uh, mohalla clinic and each porta cabin Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23. At Amity, we are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. I think it's the best time that has been chosen, and we should we cannot stop any more. The temple construction will keep happening. It may take several more months to finish, or maybe years. But what is now available, what is ready, we should just go on. Gurudev, are opinion. the Muslims a part of this celebration? You know, we are just days away from the Pran Pratishtha of the Bhavya Ram Mandir, and I remember that in 2018 we were covering very closely what you were doing. And I must say today to all the viewers that it's not just the court verdict; it's also viewers. We must understand there was a setting, there was a mood setting which happened, and the process of reconciliation happened before the court order. when gurudev shri shri ravi shankar sat with all the representatives of both the sides i remember he had sat and he even told uh, you know there were 12 trunks which were given full of documents to the chief justice of india at that point of time gurudev was part of the negotiation which went on with both sides gurudev at that time you had said that india will turn into another syria if this dispute is not resolved I remember you also said that we can't uh, we can't make Lord Ram to be born in another place. While you were saying why the Hindus should be given the given the site, uh, my direct question to you is: one, have Muslims actually accepted the reality? B, what is your sense of the Muslim community? are they truly part of this celebration or is there a feeling of angst inside them about uh, the ram temple today as far as i know um, today there is very uh, good feelings even among the muslims i don't see there is any such bickering when i went and met about 1200 imams and other religious leader throughout the country during the mediation time i tell you except two or three everyone was willing to be part of this uh, everyone was willing for a peaceful and happy settlement nobody wants to carry this on further uh, any more their only concern was uh, you know it, it should not become a precedence for 3000 other mosques so that was their concern and worry and a second thing was that uh, except just a few couple of lawyers and a few people uh, most of them were willing to come to the settlement and many of them have written in uh, they have given them in given in writing that you know they are ready to uh, be part of peaceful settlement but yeah. but what what is this In fact, you know, uh... we're getting in breaking news right now. Uh, this, with regards to a major arrest, this is a Lashkar ter- terrorist who has been arrested from the national capital. He has been arrested in New Delhi, and he has been identified as Riaz Ahmed. He is one of the active members of Lashkar Taiba. a module operating in kupwara in jammu and kashmir he has been arrested by delhi police and he is known to have played an instrumental role in receiving arms and ammunition from across the line of control uh, riaz ahmed uh, has been uh, arrested 
One mobile phone, one SIM card has also been recovered from his possession. The accused has been arrested under appropriate sections of law and police. Uh, uh, officials of the concerned police station of Jammu and Kashmir have been informed for further action. So this is a big update we're getting in right now. News coming in. Uh, a big... Uh, Success here. Delhi police arresting one of the active members. He's an active member of the lashkar e uh, module that has been operating in Jammu and Kashmir's Kupwara. So uh, this is uh, the big update we have right now. And uh, we need to know more about uh, his background, where he is from, and uh, what, were his, what was he part of any... Uh, plot right now. My colleague Piyush Ori joins us on the broadcast for more. Piyush, uh, tell us more details about this man, Riyaz Ahmed, who is a Lashkar terrorist and he has been arrested. So yes, this is a major breakthrough that has been achieved by the Delhi police uh, after it was able to apprehend Riyaz Ahmed, who reportedly belongs to lashkar e a dreaded terrorist group, and he was arrested at uh, the New Delhi railway station. So yes, it's a major breakthrough for the railway wing of the New Delhi uh, Police, which has been able to get hold of Riyaz Ahmed. Now, following the legal formalities that are going to be completed, uh, this person is going to be then handed over to uh, the Jammu Kashmir Police. But as you rightly mentioned that, yes, this is uh, now a major uh, source of investigation that what actually was the reason of this person being over here in national capital. Was he trying to... Uh, plan and commit any uh, form of terrorist activity. So all these things now need to be uh, understood. All the things need to be uh, investigated. So far what we have been told is that um, this person has been uh, arrested by the uh, Delhi police and uh, now very soon he's also going to be handed over to the uh, Jammu Kashmir police. Now it's also going to be important to note that uh, this is uh, uh, this arrest uh, by uh, Riyaz Ahmed comes just this uh, arrest by Riyaz Ahmed just comes uh, we, uh, weeks after the special cell of Delhi police was also able to get hold of Javed Mattu. So yes, uh, a major breakthrough for the Delhi police. But again, as I said, uh, it's also a source of investigation that what exactly was the modus operandi of these terrorists that have been uh, taken into the custody by the Delhi police. Back to the studio. Absolutely. My colleague Gursimran, uh, thank you so much Piyush for joining us with those details and uh, we are going to be joined by Gursimran also from Jammu and Kashmir who will be telling us the inputs he's getting from the valley as uh, this terrorist belongs to Kupwara, what we believe as of now uh, he, uh, he was getting training from across the border, he was trained in Pakistan, he was also getting arms and ammunition from uh, Pakistan and Gursimran is uh, uh, joining us in the broadcast for more. Gursimran, tell us more details, this is of course a big success after Javed Mattu as uh, Piyush which Ori was just now pointing out. But tell us more details about this uh, uh, accused and then active LED terrorist. See, uh, if we get into the details of Riyaz Ahmed, he was associated with the terror group lashkar e -Toyba, and he was mainly handling the operations that are uh, connected to the uh, cross-border smuggling of arms and ammunition as well as narcotics. What the investigation has revealed so far that uh, he was in the contact of a uh, lashkar e handler, Manzoor Shakur, who is basically said to be the one who is handling the North Kashmir's operations. So the cross-LC operations that are being handled by the lashkar e -Toyba, he was in touch with was in touch with Manzoor Shakur. That is what the investigation has revealed so far. He was in the radar of the Kupwara police for a longer period of time. He's actually from the North Kashmir and was operating there for a longer period of time. Earlier when the news surfaced that it was Riyaz Ahmed, uh, the agencies got on to it because there are actually two Riyaz Ahmed. One is operating from the North Kashmir. Second is the dreaded commander, most dreaded commander operating from the South of Kashmir. So this one is, the, uh, is uh, working closely with the Manzoor Shakur, the lashkar e -Toyba handler for the North Kashmir operations, who is not only uh, coordinating the smuggling of uh, weapons into the Indian territory from across the border, but also the narcotics and the money that is being used is being uh, then utilized for financing the terror activities across Jammu and Kashmir. So this was the entire modus operandi. And since he was in national capital, and uh, uh, this has to be seen that what was his plan to execute in the national capital, one mobile phone and a SIM card, is what has been been recovered from his possession and now the investigating agencies that also include the Delhi police as well as the Jammu and Kashmir police 
are looking into the forward and backward linkages, but the name of Manzoor Shakur has uh, now surfaced during investigation. Now all right. All right. Thanks so much, Shagur Simran, for joining us with those important details about this uh, uh, this accused who is an active LET terrorist and he has been now arrested in Delhi. Time for a short break. We were on the other side. Uh, Armani Party is alleging witch hunt says that ED has not been able to gather any evidence since three years. All that and much more on the other side. Stay tuned. Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity. We are committed to nurturing passionate, hardworking, and proactive professionals. People are uncomfortable. No, no, too much Hinduism nowadays. Why should we should be passive Hindus? We are becoming aggressive Hindus. What is your view of all this, Gurudev? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there are many such misconceptions. You know, I give the right for people to be in ignorance because they just don't want to see the truth. They don't want to see the light. You know, they are dwindling. Their numbers are minuscule today. They should go to the ground level and just look at what people want. People are today very proud of being who they are, what they are. That was not the case before. Someone who crosses the boundaries of India will even change their names. That's not happening today. You see, the, uh, the revivalism, when something good is being revived, why to uh, shy away from that? Be part of the revivalism. It's a flood that is happening today of upliftment of the whole nation and you should just be part of that. See, when you say development, development doesn't only mean making roads and building houses. It also development of the civilization, the culture, the values that we uphold. And today the world is welcoming uh, our values, these values. You know, if you closely watch uh, the developed countries, the struggle they are going through today is appalling, you know. And we don't want those ills of the society come into our our, uh, you know, our society as well. One in every three person is getting depressed. And they're all turning towards yoga. They are all turning towards chanting, which was a taboo before. I don't know, 42 years back when I started Art of Living, uh, yoga was a taboo. Not everybody wants to even look, think about it in the world. But today, I tell you, one fourth of the population, maybe now one third of the population, world's population, are practicing meditation, yoga, chanting, and all this. So people now should wake up to this reality and not just uh, shy away from or feel so uh, entrenched in the old colonial yeah. mindset. I think so. I think people should be comfortable with who they are. And Hindus are becoming comfortable with who they are in their essence. And I think this is very important. I think actually, Gurudev, too much politics, symbolic politics has happened. Viewers, you're watching Republic TV. I'm Shivangi Shukla getting you the latest coming in. And uh, the digital age is here, pulsing with possibility. Indian women are soaring in the digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024. Together, we will rise, we will connect, and we will lead. It's time to see what is making the headlines right now. Dhami tables, UCC draft will in assembly slogans of Bande Mataram and Jay Sri Ram were raised. Draft copy handed over to the MLAs. <laughs> Republic TV accesses draft copy of Uttarakhand draft bill. Only channel with UCC draft copy. ED raids at premises of KGVAR's personal secretary and ex-Delhi jail board member. Amadi Party MP ND Gupta's premises raided too. 
भारतीय जनता पार्टी शासित केंद्र सरकार का कि वो अपनी एजेंसी के माध्यम से आम आदमी पार्टी को डराने की कोशिश कर रही है धमकाने की कोशिश कर रही है और हमारी बात को दबाने की कोशिश कर रही है Aatish hits out that BJP over ED action says it is a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate our Madhi party. DMK and Congress stage a walkout from Lok Sabha over Tamil Nadu Relief Fund issue. PM launches India Energy Week 2024 in Goa says targeting net zero emission by 2027 All right viewers and let's start the top story coming in republic gets you inside details of delhi job board scam remember the ed has raided at least i repeat at least 10 locations in the national capital in money laundering case top ed sources tell the republic that bribe amounts were also passed on as election funds to our money party ed sources also said that it is found that the contract of delhi job board was awarded at highly inflated rates so that the bribes could be collected back from the contractors as against the contract value of rupees 38 crores only about rupees 17 crore was spent to earn the contract and the remaining amounts were siphoned off in the guise of various fake expenses such fake expenses were booked for bribes and election funds sources also say that the bribe funds were allegedly received by personnel secretary of uh, delhi cm so what we see right now are back to back updates coming in at this point of time What we see viewers ED conducting raids ED conducting raids uh, on Kejriwal's personal secretary and this is the Delhi Jal uh, uh, scam the Delhi Jal board scam that we're talking about at this point of time let's go straight to our senior editor Shavan Sen who's tracking every development uh, Shavan I'm coming across to you right now and uh, raids happening in over 10 locations in the national capital the money laundering case what's the latest we are picking up and we know that uh, this is a very very serious scam with very serious allegations which are coming up right now Shavan Well if there is a commonality between the Jal Delhi Jal Board corruption scam and liquor gate it is that of election funding this is where the enforcement directed once again indicates that the quid pro quo allegedly received uh, by the aam aadmi party was largely used for election funding if you remember in the case of liquor gate uh, the enforcement directorate had made direct allegations against the aam aadmi party saying that the kickbacks that were allegedly received was used for the elections in goa as far as the delhi jal board corruption scam goes uh, what we are picking up from our sources within the enforcement directorate it is with regards to one particular company that was given a contract worth about 38 crore rupees in fact it turns out that only 17 crore rupees was actually used uh, for this particular contract rest of it was siphoned off which once again the enforcement directed indicates was money that was allegedly used by the abadi party because remember the money that was received allegedly by uh, the personal secretary of the delhi chief minister the enforcement directed says that, that there was a direct exchange of money in fact they have been able to identify the money that was received by bibav as well as a few others who were part of the delhi jal board In fact also the allegation that has been leveled that this particular company that was awarded the contract did not even meet the criteria the technological or rather the technical criteria eligibility criteria wasn't even met with by this particular company once again the enforcement directorate indicates that perhaps this was a fixed match that is the reason why this contract was given to this company despite most of the criteria not being uh, you know followed and thereafter large part of the money that was handed over by delhi jal board to this particular company wasn't even used for the purpose it was given for 
that's where the enforcement directed once again indicates that uh, they have been able to establish the fact that this was used for election funding remember these are allegations that have been completely refuted by the Aam Aadmi party this morning you've had uh, their minister uh, you know batting for the party simply saying that uh, the enforcement directed has not been able to find any evidence uh, to pinpoint at the role of their ministers or for that matter other party leaders Right. Uh, well, uh, Shavan is getting us all the top details coming in right now. And Shavan, if you could take our viewers through what the ED sources are telling us right now. Uh, Republic uh, has been told that bribe amounts were also passed on as election funds to the Ahmadi Party. And this is not a very good uh, time for uh, the Ahmadi Party right now. This spells more trouble given the fact a lot of ministers of, of the Ahmadi Party uh, are under the radar, especially liquor policy scam, which you see Manish Sodia who's already in jail. So this is not exactly looking uh, very good for the Amadi party this really spells more trouble for Amadi party well undoubtedly it means more trouble for the Amadi party particularly in the case of uh, liquor gate where uh, Arvind Kejriwal has already been summoned multiple uh, times by the enforcement directed as far as the Delhi jail board corruption case goes so far no major political leader belonging to Ahmad Bay party has been summoned by the enforcement director but remember it also happens to uh, perhaps bring into the radar the role of uh, the personal secretary to begin with and then of course you do have other members of the Delhi Jal board who are all under the scanner of the enforcement director but having said that you have yet another case in which the enforcement director is uh, leveling the allegation of quid pro quo and the fact that they are indicating that this was money that was largely used for election purposes similar allegations have been leveled in the past but these allegations are something that the Ahmadmi party has been indicating where where exactly is the cash? Searches have been carried out by the enforcement director, but no recovery has been made in terms of hard cash. Now, this is where the enforcement director has once again countered by simply saying that most of the money that was used for the election purposes were largely used through Hawala channels. That is the reason why they say that they have not been able to recover the money, but they've been able to identify the money trail. All right, uh, thank you, Shavan, for getting us all the details coming in. Shavan Sen, uh, getting us top details coming in. And let's uh, get you some more details that we are tracking at this point of time. The ED has conducted uh, searches of the premises of Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal's personal secretary, Ahmadi Party Radha Sabha MP, ND Gupta, and some people connected to the Ahmadi Party in a money laundering case. As many as 12 premises in Delhi and the national capital region were being covered as part of the raids. The locations of uh, Bhimav Kumar, Kejriwal's personal secretary, and and former Delhi Jal board member Shanab Kumar, apart from some others, were being covered by officials of the pro agency. Apart from Bhibhav and Shanab, ED officials have conducted raids at the residence of N.D. Gupta, who is also the party's treasurer. The money laundering case pertains to the alleged irregularities in the tendering process of the uh, Delhi Jal board. And meanwhile, the Amani party has head out at the BJP, calling the crackdown nothing but a witch hunt. ED Prevention of Money Laundering Act के तहत केस करता है तो सबसे पहली और सबसे जरूरी चीज है कि ED को recovery of money करनी पड़ेगी लेकिन दो साल में सैकड़ो रेड के बाद भी एक रुपे की भी recovery ED नहीं कर पाई है कई ऐसी statements किसी accused से, किसी सरकारी गवाह से, किसी witness से ली गई उसके बाद कई विटनेस सामने आए और उन्होंने ये कहा कि उनसे स्टेटमेंट दबाव पूर्वक दलवाया गया लिखवाया गया और आपको पता है जब ईडी ने वो फुटेज दी तो उन्होंने उस फुटेज का ऑडियो डिलीट कर दिया सिर्फ वीडियो फुटेज दी गई ऑडियो फुटेज डिलीट कर दी गई और सारा एविडेंस कि वास्तविक तौर पे उस कमरे में क्या बात हुई थी उस सारे एविडेंस को ईडी द्वारा डिलीट कर दिया गया है और आज जो मैं खुलासा करने जा रही हूं वो आपको ये दिखा देगा कि ये सारी स्टेटमेंट्स फर्जी हैं 
कि ईडी ने सारी स्टेटमेंट्स में फर्जीवाड़ा किया हुआ है And viewers, the BJP meanwhile has hit back at the Awami Party, saying any irregularities must be probed thoroughly. Listen into some reactions coming in. Today, the Awami Party ki kai netaon ke ghar ED ne raid ki aur ye raid Delhi Jal Board ke ghotale ko lekar hai. Main yad kara do Delhi ke logon ko ye wahi ghotala hai, jisko Arvind Kejriwal ji kaha karte the ki private contractors ko kam de rakha hai aur usme hajaron crore rupee aur wo loot rahe hain. वही कॉन्ट्रैक्टर आज भी हैं कॉन्ट्रैक्टर बदले नहीं पहले वो कहां पैसे देते थे आज अरविंद केजरीवाल जी और उनके साथियों को वही करोड़ों रुपया मिल रहा है हजारों करोड़ रुपया और अब अतिशी जी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके उल्टा चोर कोतवाल को डांटे कह रही हैं हम सवाल पूछते हैं अतिशी जी दिल्ली के लोग आपसे सवाल पूछते हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने क्यों ये पॉलिसी बदली क्यों दो परसेंट से दस परसेंट और सात परसेंट से बारह परसेंट शराब के कॉन्ट्रैक्टरों को काम देने के लिए पॉलिसी को बदला गया क्यों जिन मित्रों को इन्होंने काम दिया उनके चलते सताईस सौ तिरासी करोड़ रुपए का दिल्ली की सरकार को नुकसान हुआ और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के दोस्तों को बहुत करोड़ रुपए का लाभ हुआ क्यों अभी तक आप इस बात का जवाब नहीं देते मनीष सिसोदिया जी की जमानत के दौरान जिस तरह से तीन करोड़ रुपए की मनी ट्रेल की सामने आई उस पर आप आज भी जवाब क्यों नहीं देना चाहते जवाब इस बात का दीजिए कि क्यों संजय सिंह जी ने एस भी बनाकर शराब का काम लिया शराब घोटाला किया इन सभी सवालों के जवाबों के बजाय आप उल्टे सवाल पूछ रहे हैं लेकिन दिल्ली के लोग समझ चुके हैं आतिशी जी अब आपको जवाब देना होगा ये शराब घोटाले के साथ साथ जल बोर्ड के घोटाले में वो कॉन्ट्रैक्टर को क्यों काम दिया गया जिन्होंने करोड़ों रुपया पहले भी सरकारों में कमाया All right, viewers, getting some breaking updates coming in right now, and uh, we are coming to know that uh, in an unfortunate incident, viewers, uh, three people have lost their lives, and 40 people are injured in a blaze at uh, a firecrackers factory in Madhya Pradesh's Haridwar town, and uh, we're getting some initial details of that. The visuals have come in uh, of that. Uh, Incident which has uh, led to the lives of three people being lost. It's a blast at a firecrackers factory in Madhya Pradesh, and those visuals coming in on your screen, viewers. We are tracking those developments. Let's go to Satya Vijay, who's joining us live right now. It's a massive fire breaking out in Madhya Pradesh's Hardwa district. Satya Vijay, take us through. What do we know about this? And uh, especially, uh, do we know what caused that uh, blaze in the firecrackers factory? जी हाँ बिल्कुल देखिए मध्य प्रदेश के हरदा में ये बड़ा भीषण हादसा हुआ है जिसमें कि कई लोग इंजर्ड हैं और इसके साथ साथ अभी जो प्रारंभिक जानकारी निकलकर सामने आ रही है उसके मुताबिक हमें ये इनपुट्स मिले हैं कि छः लोगों की कैजुअलिटी की सूचना है अभी अधिकृत कन्फर्मेशन किसी ने नहीं किया लेकिन छः लोगों की मौत की सूचना है इसके इस हादसे के बाद वहाँ पर जब ये फैक्ट्री में अचानक ब्लास्ट हुआ तो एक के बाद एक कई ब्लास्ट हुए जिससे कि हरदा के जिस इलाके में ये फैक्ट्री है वहाँ के आस के घरों को भी आग ने चपेट में ले लिया हादसा इतना भयानक था कि कई लोग जो है जो फटाखा फैक्ट्री में काम कर रहे थे उन वो काफी दूर तक जाकर गिरे हैं इतनी तेज इस इस घटना में जो हादसा हुआ है वो हुआ है और पूरे मामले पर मध्य प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री ने भी संज्ञान ले लिया है भोपाल से एक मंत्री को और तीन से चार अधिकारियों को हेलीकॉप्टर से घटनास्थल पर रवाना किया है साथ ही साथ भोपाल और इंदौर के जो बन वार्ड है हॉस्पिटल के जो भोपाल का एम्स हॉस्पिटल इसके अलावा इंदौर के हॉस्पिटल है उन बन वार्ड को अलर्ट पर रखा गया है घटना स्थल पर एस के साथ साथ तमाम जो टीमें हैं उनको बुला लिया गया है रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन चल रहा है तो एक भीषण हादसा हुआ है मध्य प्रदेश के हरदा में जहां पर कि पटाखा फैक्ट्री में एक के बाद एक कई ब्लास्ट हुए जिससे इलाके में सनसनी फैल गई Right, uh, and uh, getting some more details coming in right now. Uh, Sapta Vijay, if you could take our viewers through once more about uh, how the authorities have reacted to this, and uh, it, it, was this an illegal firecracker factory? That's also some of the reports which are suggesting this could be an illegal firecracker factory. देखिए जो हादसा हुआ है पटाखा फैक्ट्री में हुआ है और जो जानकारी अब तक निकलकर सामने आई है ये जो फैक्ट्री है राजू अग्रवाल नाम के व्यापारी की है और पाँच साल पहले भी ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन आ रही है कि इस पटाखा फैक्ट्री में हादसा हो चुका है फिलहाल ये फैक्ट्री वैध है या अवैध तरीके से लीगल तरीके से चल रही है ये सब इन्वेस्टिगेशन के इशू हैं लेकिन तस्वीरें काफ़ी डराने वाली हैं भयानक तस्वीरें हैं क्योंकि पूरे जो आसमान है वहाँ पर धुआं ही धुआँ हो जाता है प्रशासन ने और सरकार ने तुरंत एक्शन लिया है मुख्यमंत्री 
मुख्यमंत्री मुख्यमंत्री जो मोहन यादव हैं उन्होंने तुरंत आपात बैठक बुलाई अधिकारियों को इसके साथ साथ एक मंत्री को हेलीकॉप्टर से वहाँ रवाना किया है इसके अलावा जो भी फोर्स की या भी रेस्क्यू टीम की जरूरत पड़ती है वो सब टीमें मौके के लिए रवाना कर दी गई हैं कलेक्टर से कुछ देर पहले मेरी बात हुई उनका कहना कि एन को भी कॉल किया गया है और घटना किस वजह से हुई कैसे ये लापरवाही हुई किन किन मानकों को पूरा उस फैक्ट्री में नहीं किया जा रहा था ये सब ये सब इन्वेस्टिगेशन के मुद्दे हैं लेकिन पहले पहली प्राथमिकता ये कि जो हताहत हैं जो घायल हैं जो इंजर्ड हुए हैं उन्हें तत्काल इलाज मिले जिससे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों की जान बचाई जा सके All right. Uh, thank you so much, Sir Vijay, for getting us uh, all the details coming in. Uh, so, what we see right now are these uh, visuals coming in from Madhya Pradesh. We are tracking the developments very closely. Three people have died in uh, the fire, which broke out in a firecracker's uh, uh, factory. Let's move ahead now to the other news we're tracking. A video has surfaced uh, where. Louise Khurshi, the wife of senior Congress party leader and the former foreign minister Salman Khurshi, is calling for hitting her own party leaders with shoes. Now, uh, Louise Khurshi said that if any secretary of general secretary comes uh, to Farukabad questioning the identity of her husband or herself, they should be hit with shoes in front of the reporters. Here is a full report on that. जैसे हम है समान आपके ऊपर का है हम तो नीचे वाले हैं हम लोगों को बुलाया और पूछा भी आप क्षेत्र में क्या बोले तो हमने कहा बहन जी मैं कुछ कठोर और बात करेंगे आप अपना नंबर भी बताइए उन्होंने कहा यही बता दिया यही गले पाँच हजार दस हजार सात हजार और मैंने कब बताइए जब बाहर से कोई सचिव आए या कोई जनरल सेक्रेटरी आए हमारे फरुखाबाद में और ये कहें कि सलमान खुर्शी कौन है लुईस खुर्शी कौन है तो हमें जो आपत्ति आप है हमने मैंने कहा मैंने उनको कहा हमारे वर्कर को अगली बार अगर ये कोई सचिव ये कहे तो पहले प्रेस को बुलाइए और प्रेस के सामने अपना चप्पल उतार के मारे Much more coming up, viewers. Dhami tables, UCC draft bill and assembly slogans of one day Mataram and Jai Sri Ram were raised. Draft copy handed over to the MLAs. मुझे मतलब बहुत दिनों से बहुत दिनों से एक तरह से आशा थी कि आपसे मिलूंगा और आपको कहूंगा दैट आई एम अ डीप एडमायरर ऑफ योर फिल्म्स योर आर्ट योर पर्सनालिटी एंड योर एक्टिंग स्टाइल थैंक यू सो मच मुझे तो लगता है दैट यू आर अ यू आर अ जैसे मैंने कहा फ्यूचर लेजेंड मतलब आपने पूरे जो हमारी एक तरह से परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स और सिनेमा इंडस्ट्री ओ की डायरेक्शन आपने चेंज कर दी है और आपके सफलता के कारण आज बहुत ऐसे टैलेंट सामने आए हैं पिछले पांच छह साल में जो शायद पहले रिकॉग्नाइज नहीं होते नहीं होते कि सब लोग कहते हैं कि ही कुड बी द नेक्स्ट पंकज त्रिपाठी सो पीपल आर लुकिंग फॉर टैलेंट लाइक दैट सो व्हाट डू यू फील डू यू आल्सो फील जब आपने अपने करियर को देखना है पिछले दस साल स्पेशली जी तो कोई टर्निंग पॉइंट आपको याद आता होगी यस टर्निंग पॉइंट मेरे ख्याल से पहले तो थैंक यू आपने इतना अच्छा इंट्रोडक्शन दिया और मैं आपको पास से देखना चाहता था <laughs> मेरी इच्छा थी क्योंकि मैं टीवी में देखा था तो मुझे लगा था कि देखूं और इस इंटरव्यू के पहले मैं पाँच मिनट मिला हूं आपसे तो मुझे वो व्यक्ति नहीं मिला जो टीवी में दिखा था <laughs> तो, तो खैर यस ओ आने के बाद से खास करके मेरे मेरे कैरियर में बदलाव हुआ जब इंडिया में टू एज सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन में ओ टी टी आ रहा था एक फिल्म आई थी न्यूटन जिसके लिए नेशनल अवार्ड मिला मुझे पहली बार तो वो फिल्म हुई थी छोटी रिलीज बट बॉक्स ऑफिस पे चल गई और बड़ी आस पास के साथ कुछ बड़ी फिल्म को पछाड़ के ज़्यादा दिन चली गई फिर ऑस्कर के लिए इंडियन एंट्री भेज दी गई 
वो उससे थोड़ा सा चर्चा हुआ था बट ओटीटी आने के बाद से किस साल की बात है न्यूटन 2017 वो एक स्कूल टीचर नहीं चुनाव कराने चुनाव चुनाव कराने वाले नक्सल इलाके में इलेक्शन कराने जाते हैं एरिया में जो यस और सीआरपीएफ कमांडेंट हूँ परफेक्ट परफेक्ट याद है तो वो फिल्म चल गई और सराहा गया और सेम टाइम वो टी टी इंडिया में आ चुके थे मिर्जापुर प्राइम वीडियो पे और और सीक्रेट गेम उधर चल रहा था तो ओ टी टी इंटरनेट के आने से स्क्रीन ज़्यादा डेमोक्रेटिक हो गया पहले स्क्रीन सिनेमा हॉल था फिर स्क्रीन घर का टी स्क्रीन था जो ड्राइंग मेन लिविंग एरिया में रहेगा अब ये मोबाइल जेब तक पहुंच गया या पर्सनल टैब लैप लैपटॉप के थ्रू तो मुझे लगता है कि तो ज्यादा लोग हम लोगों को देखने लगे ऑडियंस बढ़ गई ऑडियंस बढ़ गई क्योंकि हमारी फिल्म में दो सौ सिनेमा घरों में रिलीज होती है अब चुनाव में खड़े कर दो एक आदमी को और बोलो कि तुम्हारा बूथ पूरे इंडिया में दो बनाएंगे कौन मतदाता आएगा भाई and he was traveling far and wide the country he has come to me several times and uh, once when there was a talk between um, with the shankaracharya and the muslim person labor it all failed and so he was so disappointed so he came to me right from kanchipuram to bangalore at the time i told him um, you know i have the intuition i have this feeling that they Uh, the vision that there is a temple which is dilapidated. Uh, there is a Kali temple, Dev Kali temple. Dev Kali is the Kul Devi of Sri Ram, and that temple is completely in uh, dismay. No proper arrangements are there. This is what I feel. Welcome back viewers Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu along with his uh, cabinet colleagues visited Ayodhya and offered prayers at the newly opened Ram Temple the chief minister was accompanied by a delegation of 70 members including ministers and officials let's take a closer look at uh, the report Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu with his 70 other delegates visited Ayodhya today The ministers offered prayer at the newly inaugurated Ram Temple. अब यहाँ आज राम जन्मभूमि में अयोध्या में आके बहुत ही हम लोग ब्लेस फील कर रहे हैं और ये तो हम सब के लिए एक ऐतिहासिक एक एक पल है हम सभी के लिए सो हमारे साथ अरुणाचल से हमारे जितने भी जो अपना काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स है चीफ सेक्रेटरी है कुल मिला के हम लोग सत्तर लोग यहाँ पे आए हुए हैं तो ये काफ़ी एक इमोशनल एक फील फीलिंग हो रहा है यहाँ आके कि जो इतना लंबा समय जो करीबन पाँच साल से जो संघर्ष करके आया आज पूर्ण रूप से यहाँ पे अपने आंखों के सामने में भगवान राम लाला का दर्शन प्राप्त करके हम लोग बहुत ही ब्लेस फील हो रहा है ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टीवी coming up viewers dhami tables ucc draft bill in assembly slogans of bande mataram and jai shri ram were raised draft copy handed over to the mla stay tuned i always felt that there was some something which was preventing the hindus from expressing their true feelings as hindus and as nationalists and as a uh, part of uh, people in public discourse i had the fortune of being associated with the ramjan bobu movement from the word go he started in 1983 but there is a background to it it is not that that this movement originated on the basis of hindu muslim relationship in post independence india but it happened long back all this came out in the course of the exchange of documents between hindus and muslims as to how the ram janmabhoomi movement evolved from the 18th century early part of the 18th century and uh, the british had recorded it a british judge had recorded in 1886 
when a suit was filed to take possession of the Ram Jan Bhumi, he recorded that it is unfortunate that a Hindu temple was demolished and a mosque has been built on its place. But it is very difficult for me after this uh, length of time to hand over the premises to the Hindus. This was the helplessness of a uh, government with the judicial system which had very limited scope to intervene in these matters. But the historicity of this was established by a series of uh, struggles which the Hindus uh, undertook. By way of military expedition, by way of war diplomacy, and it all culminated. Cul every time there was some physical clash, the last was in 1934, when several hundreds of Hindus were killed, according to the British records. So the Hindus have been struggling for it on the basis of their uh, continuous uh, belief and the claiming the right to worship. This would have normally happened immediately after the uh, country attained freedom, like it happened in the case of uh, um, Somnath. It should have happened instantly. But the idea was to deny the Hindus their just and uh, lawful claims to the three masjids. I am very, very happy to announce that Neva Bhopa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio. Neva Bhopa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims, processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. Tuning in, I'm Suesha Samant, and well, the digital age is here, pulsing with possibility. Indian women are soaring in the digital age. Do join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024 on the 8th of February. Together, we will rise, connect, and lead. On that note, we begin this edition with the headlines we're tracking at this hour. High Court to hear Muslim sides plea to stop Hindu prayers at the Gyanwapi complex. Hindu sides lawyer says no harm in prayers in the complex. Table's UCC draft bill in assembly. Slogans of Vande Matram and Jay Sri Ram were raised. Draft copy handed over to MLAs. Republic TV accesses draft copy of Uttarakhand draft bill. Only channel with UCC draft. ED sources say kickbacks allegedly received by Aam Army Party that were used for election purposes. 38 crore rupees contract that was given to eligible company, ineligible companies, I beg your pardon. Aam Army Party has refuted these allegations. ED raids at premises of... Uh, Kejriwal's personal secretary and former Delhi Jal Board member, Amadmi Party MP N.D. Gupta's premises, raided too. Bharti Janta Party Shasit Kendra Sarkar ka ke wo apni agencies ke madhyam se Amadmi Party ko darane ki koshish kar rahi hai, dhamkane ki koshish kar rahi hai, aur hamari baat ko dabane ki koshish kar rahi hai. 
Atishi hits out at BJP over ED action says it is a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate Aam Aadmi Party. Uttarakhand Assembly introduced legislation on the Uniform Civil Code in the State Assembly today. Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Kami at the forefront of this move said that the proposed UCC will not only be for the good of all sections but also align with Prime Minister Modi's vision of Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas and Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. The public has accessed uh, a copy of the draft which has been bifurcated in four parts which is marriage, succession, live in miscellaneous let me straight away cut across uh, to my colleague madhurima who has a copy of this draft with her as she takes us through the objective points of it uh, madhurima this really will set the tone uh, and can set the tone for the other states when it comes to how do they formalize uh, ucc in terms of what uttarakhand has done do take us uh, through the important points Well, it's absolutely, Suvesha, because it's an unprecedented day today. A very crucial draft has been tabled by the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Pushkar Singh Dami, here at the Uttarakhand Assembly from where I'm reporting. And of course, uh, this is going to lay out the path for all other states who want to follow the same pursuit of bringing in UCC in their respective state. And when we talk about uh, the crucial points in this uh, particular draft, like you pointed out, the draft has been divided into four volumes. The first being marriage, then live-in, then a session, and then miscellaneous. So all these uh, three, uh, all these four volumes uh, in details, uh, running over 800 pages, uh, uh, define how uh, you know it now under the UCC it is imperative uh, uh, to register your marriage uh, first, second, or any number of marriage after the divorce. Uh, it has become uh, imperative uh, to register your divorces. Uh, a polygamy is out it does not allow polygamy one one wife one husband rule now the live-in relationships uh, the live-in relationships need to be registered formally uh, the if there is an offspring out of that particular live-in relationship that uh, a person will also be given uh, status it, it, they, that that offspring that child will also be recognized and it will also have uh, uh, its fundamental rights and of course if there is a problem in the live-in relationship then there is a detail of how that shall be taken up in the court as well uh, rights for adoption for Muslim women uh, the way that though uh, the, uh, the triple talaq uh, uh, was uh, cancelled out a couple of years back but still there were a couple of nuances such as the khulla and uh, kind of, there are three to four more kinds of talaq uh, that uh, the Sharia law and the Muslim religion practices all that has also be struck out by the uniform civil code so all these provisions have been brought in when we talk about uh, a session uh, the property rights the, the women have been given 50% property rights uh, under the UCC so if uh, a couple has a daughter and a son both are now eligible to 50% uh, of the property right irrespective of she's getting married or not so all these rules uh, under the UCC uh, intend to strengthen the position of women in the country and we'll have to wait and watch uh, as to how many states will follow the same pursuit such as Uttarakhand Swish. Oh yes, absolutely. And uh, this indeed uh, is the start uh, to a very uh, revolutionary future in that sense. Uh, we certainly wait and watch how this progresses. In the meanwhile, some reactions coming in. Let's listen in. Do stay with us. Raj Sarkar or Mukhi Mantri is ko parit karwane ke liye बहुत ही उत्सुक हैं और नियम परंपराएं संसदी विधि विधान किसी का भी पालन नहीं किया जा रहा है बल्कि कार्य मंत्रण समिति से कांग्रेस के दोनों सदस्यों को त्यागपत्र देने के लिए बाध्य होना पड़ा है
क्योंकि आपने सत्र का एक्सटेंशन किया है तो एक्सटेंशन का अर्थ है कि आप उसको उसी विधि विधान नियमावली से संचालित करेंगे जिससे सामान्य तौर पर विधानसभा का सत्र संचालित होता है प्रश्नकाल होगा लोक महत्व के प्रश्न उठेंगे और फिर विधेयक इत्यादि जो आने हैं वो आएंगे मगर यहाँ कहा जा रहा नहीं कुछ नहीं करना है केवल ये डाप्त पेश होगा इसका पारण करना है और डाप्त किसी को उपलब्ध नहीं है न मीडिया में है और के जो डाप्त उपलब्ध नहीं है आप तत्काल उस पर चर्चा करना चाहते हैं सात आठ सौ नौ सौ पृष्ठों का डाप्त बताया जा रहा है तो इसलिए मैं अपनी स्टेट लीडरशिप को बहुत बधाई देना चाहता हूं कि उन्होंने बड़ा बोल्ड डिसीजन लिया उन्होंने कहा भाई ऐसी बात है तो तुमने कार्य मंत्रणा समिति को जो है बिल्कुल इेलिवेंट कर दिया है नियमों को चौवालीस में समायोजित किया गया तथा संविधान सभा में व्यापक बहस के उपरांत यह राष्ट्र हित में उचित पाया गया कि देश में एक समान नागरिक आचार संहिता उपयुक्त समय पर बनाई जानी चाहिए संविधान प्रारूप समिति के अध्यक्ष जिनको हम हमेशा श्रद्धांजलि देते हैं उनके बारे में चर्चा करते हैं आज भी सुबह बड़ी अच्छे भाव से चाहे पक्ष के लोग हैं विपक्ष के लोग हों सभी ने डॉक्टर भीमराव अंबेडकर का या उनके बारे में जिक्र किया और उन्होंने भी हमेशा वो पक्ष दे रहे हैं समान नागरिक आचार संहिता लागू हो संविधान सभा के कुछ सदस्य जो आज हम लोग चर्चा कर रहे हैं उस समय जो मुस्लिम सदस्य थे इस्लाइम इस्माइल खान नजीरुद्दीन अहमद पोकर शाहिद बहादुर आदि के द्वारा भी समान नागरिक संहिता का विरोध नहीं किया गया ये बड़े जो लोग आज चर्चा करते हैं जो जाति आधार पर पुष्टिकरण के आधार पर राजनीति करने का काम करते रहे उनको आज समझना होगा कि ऐसे लोगों ने उस समय आज समान नागरिक आचार संहिता का उल्लंघन का विरोध नहीं किया अपितु कहा कि देश के बंटवारों का यह समय समान नागरिक आचार संहिता लागू करने के लिए उचित नहीं है लेकिन इसे उपयुक्त समय पर लागू किया जाना चाहिए माननीय अध्यक्ष जी सबसे पहले उन्नीस में केशवानंद भारती केरल सरकार उन्नीस में मोहम्मद अहमद खान शाहबानो बेगम उन्नीस सौ पिचानवे सरला मुदगल यूनियन बैंक यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया 2014 में सबनम हाशमी यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया 2017 का सारे वानो यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया जैसे अनेकों याचिकाओं की सुनवाई के उपरांत माननीय उच्चतम न्यायालय द्वारा समय समय पर अपने निर्णयों में समान नागरिक आचार संहिता लागू करने के पक्ष में उचित टिप्पणियां की गई मतलब उच्चतम न्यायालय तब भी इन लगातार समय समय पर अपने उचित टिप्पणियां करता रहा है मान्य अध्यक्षा जी भारत देश में आपराधिक मामलों के लिए दीवानी मामलों के लिए सभी वर्गों पर समान नागरिक समान कानून लागू है व्यक्तिगत नागरिक मामलों के लिए भी समान नागरिक समान कानून लागू कर भारत की मूल भावना अनेकता में एकता के लिए इसी एक महत्वपूर्ण कदम है मान्य अध्यक्षा जी मैं बड़े विनम्र भाव से मैं आपसे कहना चाह रहा हूं कि अक्सर हम लोग हिंदू मुस्लिम इस प्रकार की हम लोग बात करते हैं लेकिन जहां हम विभिन्न संविधानों में जैसे हिंदुओं में पुत्र पुत्रियों को पैतृक संपत्ति में समान अधिकार देने का 2005 का उच्चतम न्यायालय का निर्णय हो तीन तलाक कानून बनाकर कुप्रथा को समाप्त करने का भारत सरकार का प्रयास हो या रख तथा संरक्षिता आदि से संबंधित विषयों के लिए उच्चतम न्यायालय के निर्णय हो समिति में व्यापक विचार विमर्श के उपरांत यह पाया कि किसी भी समाज में व्याप कुरूतियों को दूर करने के लिए सामूहिक सोच एवं आपसी सहमति तथा डिमांड होनी चाहिए सरकार का कार्य तब प्रारंभ होता है और उस दशा में यदि कानून बनाया जाता है तो यह कानून बहुत ही सहज और सुलभ ढंग से लागू हो जाता है माननीय अध्यक्षा जी ये जो समान नागरिक आचार संहिता के विषय में मैं आपके सामने एक विषय और भी रखना चाहता हूं आज यहां भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार है और भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार से पहले यदि मैं बात करूं 
नागरिक नागरिक समान नागरिक संहिता मैं यदि थोड़ा सा पहले की स्थिति में जाऊं तो माननीय अध्यक्षा जी हम लोगों का भारतीय जनता पार्टी से पहले भारतीय जनसंघ के रूप में हम लोग देश में काम करते थे कृपया आपस में बात मत करो भाई बहुत हो भारतीय जनसंघ भारतीय जनता पार्टी का मूल भारतीय जनसंघ क्योंकि बहुत से लोग नहीं जानते होंगे मैं आज उसको भी दोहराना चाहता हूं भारतीय जनसंघ में शुरू से हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट हिंदू उत्तराधिकारी विधेयक वापस लेने की हमेशा बात कही थी यह बात उन्नीस सौ बासठ की मान्य अध्यक्ष थी और उन्नीस के उत्तराधिकार और गौर लेने के लिए एक समान कानून की वकालत उन्नीस में की थी उन्नीस में भी अपना वादा दोहराया था महोदया तदुपरांत देश में कैसा समय आया कि जब इमरजेंसी लागू की गई हम सब जानते हैं किस प्रकार का उस समय तांडव किस प्रकार का हालात देश के अंदर पैदा किए गए थे इमरजेंसी लागू की गई हमारे आने को नेता जेल में ठूस दिए गए उनके साथ यातनाएं दी गई क्योंकि मैं हमारा परिवार भी भुक्त भोगी उस समय का रहा है मेरा भाई जो दिवंगत हुआ अभी चार दिन पहले उसने वो यातनाएं उस समय सही थी और पिछहत्तर के बाद सतहत्तर में हमारी भारतीय जनता हमारी भारतीय जनसंघ एक जनता पार्टी के रूप में विलीन हो गई और उन्नीस सौ अस्सी छह अप्रैल को भारतीय जनता पार्टी की स्थापना होती है और माननीय अध्यक्षा जी उसमें जो हमारे पहले अध्यक्ष थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के स्वर्गीय अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी और मैं समझता हूं जनता जीवन जीने का मौका मिले इसी दृष्टि से ये कानून लाया है और ये देर सवेर उनको सब कुछ स्वीकार करने पर पूरे देश के अंदर लागू होगा और धामी सरकार का मैं अभिनंदन कर रहा हूँ पूरे देश के अंदर उन्होंने एक उदाहरण पेश किया एक दिशा दी है इसके लिए मैं उनका अभिनंदन कर रहा हूँ मुख्यमंत्री जी को और सारी कैबिनेट और विधायकों को बधाई देता हूँ और अन्य स्टेट भी इसका अनुसरण करें क्योंकि इसके बिना लोगों को न्याय नहीं मिलेगा और अभी चुनाव का समय है चुनाव के बाद में जो भी नई सरकार भारत की आएगी उनसे भी हम आग्रह करेंगे इस पर विचार करें के अंदर कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है जो हमारे मजहब के खिलाफ हो तो हमें कोई एतराज नहीं है लेकिन अगर जो कुरान शरीफ ने मुसलमानों को जो हिदायत दी है अगर उसके खिलाफ कोई बात होती है तो हम उसे मानने को तैयार नहीं है समान कायदा समान सभी लोगों के लिए वो सभी जगह लागू होना चाहिए मुझे लगता है अभी हर राज्य में इम्प्लीमेंट होने के बाद वो देश में जब सेंटर में आएगा तब सबसे ज़्यादा जीत होगी आम व्यक्तियों की महिलाओं की जहाँ पर सभी को लगता है एक समान सभी को देखा जाए तो मुझे लगता है अभिनंदन पात्र है और इसके बाद महाराष्ट्र भी हो यही अपेक्षित करते हैं इट इज़ ए पोलिटिकल एजेंडा ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी so they will naturally try to implement it but we are opposed to it we are not planning to implement it in west bengal जो लोग इस प्रकार का विरोध कर रहे हैं वो वो मानसिकता वाले हैं जो कि इस देश से खाते हैं इस देश में रहते हैं इतने लेकिन गुणगान आज भी बाहरी देश का करते हैं और कुछ लोग पार्टी वो हैं जो कि केवल राजनीतिक दृश्य इस बात को उछाल रहे हैं Public Diva Bupa Studio your one stop for all the breaking news updates and I am Nikita Sahai Fifteen thousand placements in 2022-23 at Amity we are committed to nurturing passionate hard working and proactive professionals I am very very happy to announce that Neva Bupa Health Insurance has come on board as Republic TV's studio board Neva Bupa Health Insurance is the fastest growing company among standalone health insurance players in India. It has also provided health insurance coverage to 1.1 crore people in India and settled over 15 lakh claims processing one claim every 60 seconds. So we are delighted to be partnering with them. In a way isn't there a attempt at hindu villainization there are three phases of this struggle from the maratha operation 
there was a definite policy on sacred places including kashi ayodhya prayag in the legal battle was the second phase right and this uh, the legal effort start in 1885 and the third phase was the 1983 onwards movement of the sadhus and sants and the political movement after 1989 90 so there are three or four phases of this struggle and hindus were patient throughout mr gurumurthy you will agree with me till 6th of december 1992 hindus were patient then the babri masjid were demolished and hindus were patient again after that in the supreme court case so was there an attempt to frustrate trigger and agitate the hindus and villainize the hindus anyone associated with this is seen by uh, neruvian secularism hindus had become political cultural religious orphans in this country because nehru himself said islamic or uh, muslim communalism is aggressive but hindu communalism is dangerous imagine the tallest leader of the country and the most respected leader, leader of indian leader abroad pronouncing that hindu communalism is dangerous you know this is how the division between hindus and muslims started he should have remained above this but he found it was necessary to cultivate the the uh, islamic uh, vote bank for congress and that is how he seeded the idea that to be against hindus is part of indian secularism and this manifested remanifested yeah, remanifested and and, 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 and you are yeah, just sorry and, to intervene sorry to intervene but nehru was always very prickly when when sardar vallabhbhai patel was the deputy prime minister and home minister of india in november 1947 he went to saurashtra and declared at a public meeting that the first step of the government of india will be to recall we got across to more breaking news coming in in a recent update in the firecracker blast in madhya pradesh's harda we learn that uh, rescue operation is ongoing unfortunately six people have lost their lives 59 who are grievously injured they're being sent to a hospital in bhopal for further treatment those are the pictures on your screens of the fire that broke out at a fire cracker factory in madhya pradesh and uh, that huge black smoke cloud of smoke i beg your pardon that is uh, visible in the skies of bhopal madhya pradesh chief minister who is holding an emergency meet as uh, six people have lost their lives six casualties that have been reported while uh, they're trying to douse off that fire 59 others who are injured they're being taken for treatment we also have a reaction coming in let's listen in विस्फोट हुआ है इस विस्फोट में अभी तक मेरी जानकारी में लाया गया है कि लगभग 6 लोगों की मृत्यु हुई है और 50 से ज्यादा लोग इसमें घायल हुए हैं इस घटना की जानकारी आते ही हमने तुरंत अपने प्रशासन को एक्टिव करते हुए जो हो सकता वो सब करने के लिए लगभग 50 से ज्यादा एम्बुलेंस हमने रवाना कर दी है इसमें घायलों को तुरंत नजदीक के हॉस्पिटल में इसकी सुविधा मिले बर्न यूनिट चालू हो जाए इसलिए इंदौर भोपाल होशंगाबाद सभी दूरबाद यूनिट और डॉक्टरों की टीम तैनात कर दी है साथ ही साथ एक हेलीकॉप्टर से मेरे अपने कैबिनेट में जानकारी है इनसे मंत्री राव उदय प्रताप सिंह ए सी एस अजीत केसरी डी जी होम को इस पार्ट पर रवाना किया चार सौ से ज़्यादा पुलिस बल भेजा है और भारत सरकार को भी अवगत कराया जिसके माध्यम से वो तुरंत उनके यहाँ से मदद मिले और हम इस पूरी प्रयास में है कि हर हालत में किसी भी तरह पहले सबसे पहले आग पे काबू पाया जा सके जो भी घायल हैं उनको यथायोग्य मदद मिले हमने घोषणा की है कि जो भी घायल होगा उसका इलाज पूरा मुफ्त किया जाएगा जिनके घर में ये घटना घटी है या जिनकी मृत्यु हुई है उनको परिवार को लगभग चार लाख रुपए प्रति परिवार 
उसमें देने की हमने घोषणा की है साथ ही साथ कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि इसमें जो घायल हैं उनको पूरा यथायोग्य सब प्रकार का इलाज कराया जा सके बाबा महाकाल सबके कृपा करेंगे मैं ऐसी उम्मीद करता हूँ जब भी अब घटना बहुत भीषण है और हम प्रयास करेंगे किसी हालत में घटना की पुनरावृत्ति नहीं हो और इसी में इस घटना के जांच के आदेश भी मैंने दिए होम सेक्रेटरी इसकी जाँच करके पूरी रिपोर्ट मेरे को देने वाले हैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि जल्दी जल्दी आप काबू पाया जाएगा हम सब Across to Satya Vijay, who's joining us on the broadcast. Satya Vijay, give us details of uh, how the fire is being doused. Uh, what is the progress of it? Uh, also, in terms of those who are injured and are being taken to nearby hospitals, is uh, the capacity well enough uh, to have all of them uh, be given immediate treatment? Uh, what more are you picking up from the CM office of what the government is doing to take the situation under control? देखिए मध्य प्रदेश के हरदा में भीषण हादसा हुआ है पटाखा फैक्ट्री में यह हादसा हुआ है करीब 11 बजे का इनपुट से कि जब 11 बजे के लगभग जब पटाखा फैक्ट्री में काम चल रहा था उस दौरान बारूद में ब्लास्ट होने की वजह से यह हादसा हुआ है और ये हादसा इसलिए और ज़्यादा भयानक हो गया क्योंकि जिस पटाखा फैक्ट्री में पटाखे बनाए जा रहे थे और वहाँ से जब चिंगारी भड़की तो फैक्ट्री के आसपास चार और गोडाउन थे जहाँ पर कि बारूद को और पटाखों को स्टोर करके रखा गया था उन उन गोडाउन में भी जब ये आग भड़की तो जिसके के बाद आसपास के इलाकों में अफरा तफरी मच गई क्योंकि भूकंप जैसे वहां पर हालात हो गए थे लोगों की बाइक जो है जलती हुई दूर फेंकाई है जो मजदूर वहां पर काम कर रहे थे वो दूर तक फेंकाए हैं मतलब ब्लास्ट की तीव्रता इतनी ज्यादा थी कि लोग फैक्ट्री से बाहर हवा में गए हैं इस तरह का वहां का दृश्य था फिलहाल छह लोगों की कैजुअल्टी हो चुकी है छह लोगों की डेथ कन्फर्म कलेक्टर ने भी की मोहन यादव जो मध्य प्रदेश के मुख्यमंत्री उन्होंने की फिफ्टी इंजर्ड का जो आंकड़ा है यह अभी काफी ज्यादा बढ़ने वाला है क्योंकि जो हमारे लोकल सोर्स है वो बता रहे हैं कि फैक्ट्री में काफी ज्यादा संख्या में मजदूर थे करीब सौ से ज्यादा मजदूर थे जो तो जो आंकड़ा भी 59 नाइन इंजर्ड का है वो बढ़ेगा दूसरी बड़ी बात ये कि हरदा में जिस फैक्ट्री में ये जो ब्लास्ट हुआ है अग्रवाल बंधु की ये फैक्ट्री है कारोबारी है उनकी फैक्ट्री पर पहले भी प्रशासन कार्रवाई कर चुका है फैक्ट्री को सील किया जा चुका है वहां पर छापे मारे जा चुके हैं इसके बाद अभी लेकिन जो हमारे पास इंफॉर्मेशन है फैक्ट्री को लाइसेंस था लेकिन अवैध भंडारण भी वहां पर था जिसकी वजह से ब्लास्ट बड़ा है और दूसरी सबसे बड़ी बात यह कि जो हादसे की तीव्रता इतनी ज्यादा तो थी लेकिन आसपास के लोग इसलिए उसमें चपेट में आए क्योंकि जहां पर यह फैक्ट्री है वो नगर पालिका क्षेत्र में आता है तो रिहायशी इलाके में हरदा के बैरागढ़ इलाके में यह फैक्ट्री संचालित हो रही थी तो नगर ने ऐसी परमिशन कैसे दी कि रिहायशी इलाके में एक पटाखा फैक्ट्री चल रही है और इन सब पहलुओं पर इन्वेस्टिगेशन होगी फिलहाल भोपाल इंदौर के जो अस्पताल हैं उन्हें अलर्ट पर रखा है इंदौर से डॉक्टरों की टीम भी वहां पर बुलाई गई है भोपाल एम्स के वन वार्ड को अलर्ट पर रखा है और तमाम जो रेस्क्यू के लिए मदद चाहिए जैसा कि मुख्यमंत्री मोहन यादव कह रहे थे कि सेंट्रल मिनिस्ट्री को भारत सरकार को भी हादसे से अवगत करा दिया गया है तो जो भी मदद केंद्र स्तर पर होगी वो भी इस हादसे को लेकर सरकार के द्वारा उपलब्ध कराई जाएगी हालांकि वहां पर एस जिला प्रशासन फायर ब्रिगेड का जो दस्ता है वो और इसके अलावा इंडिया की टीम ये सभी लोग रेस्क्यू कर रहे हैं लगातार वहां पर जो फायर विकेट की टीम है वो जान पर खेलकर लोगों को बचाने का काम कर रही है लेकिन फिर वही बात खड़ी होती है कि छह मासूम लोगों की मौत अब तक हो चुकी है जो वहां पर काम कर रहे थे और 59 से ज्यादा इंजर्ड हैं तो इस हादसे का जिम्मेदार क्यों कौन होगा कौन जिम्मेदारी लेगा कहां पर लापरवाही हुई क्या प्रशासन इसके पीछे है उनकी ढीला दि, शरण का रूप है पुत्री तो पुत्री लक्ष्मी दुर्गा का स्वरूप है यानी कि हम पुत्री और पुत्री आई थिंक इट्स द बेस्ट टाइम दैट हैज बीन चोसन एंड वी शुड वी कैन नॉट स्टॉप एनी मोर दिस टेंपल कंस्ट्रक्शन विल कीप हैपनिंग इट मे टेक सेवरल मोर मंथ्स टू फिनिश और मे बी इयर्स बट व्हाट इज नाउ अवेलेबल व्हाट इज रेडी we should just go on that's good if are opinion. the muslims a part of this celebration you know we are just days away from the pran pratishtha of the bhavya ram mandir and i remember that in 2018 we were covering very closely what you were doing and i must say today to all the viewers that 
it's not just the court verdict it's also viewers we must understand there was a setting there was a mood setting which happened and the process of reconciliation happened before the court order when gurudev shri shri ravi shankar sat with all the representatives of both the sides i remember he had sat and he even told uh, you know th there were 12 trunks which were given full of documents to the chief justice of india at that point of time gurudev was part of the negotiation which went on with both sides gurudev at that time you had said that india will turn into another syria if this dispute is not resolved i remember you also said that we can't uh, we can't make lord ram to be born in another place while you were saying why the hindus should be given the given the site uh, my direct question to you is one have muslims actually accepted the reality b what is your sense of the muslim community are they truly part of this celebration or is there a feeling of angst inside them about uh, the ram temple today as far as i know um, today there is very uh, good feelings even among the muslims i don't see there is any such bickering when i went and met about 1200 imams and other religious leader throughout the country during the mediation time i tell you except two or three everyone was willing to be part of this uh, everyone was willing for a peaceful and happy settlement nobody wants to carry this on further Uh, any more their only concern was uh, you know it, it should not become a precedence for 3000 other mosques so that was their concern and worry and a second thing was that uh, except just a few couple of lawyers and a few people uh, most of them were The digital age is here pulsing with possibility and Indian women are soaring in the digital age. Join us at the Republic India Women's Summit 2024. Together we will rise, connect and lead. Allahabad High Court to hear Muslim sides plead to stop the Hindu prayers at the Gyan Babi complex. Hindu side lawyer says no harm in prayers. मैं आपकी अनुज्ञा से तमाम नागरिक संहिता उत्तराखंड विधेयक दो हजार चौबीस को प्रस्थापित करने हेतु सदन की अनुज्ञा चाहता हूँ Dami tables UCC draft bill in assembly slogans of Vande Mataram and Jai Sri Ram were raised draft copy handed over to the MLAs Republic TV accesses the draft copy of the Uttarakhand draft bill only the only channel with UCC draft ED sources say kickbacks allegedly received by Amani party were received, were used for election purposes 38 crore rupee contract given to ineligible company Amani party refutes the allegations ED raids at premises of Kejriwal's personal secretary and ex Delhi Jal board member Amani Party MP ND Gupta's premises also raided. Bharatiya Janata Party Shasit Kendra Sarkar ka ke wo apni agencies ke madhyam se Aam Aadmi Party ko darane ki koshish kar rahi hai, dhamkane ki koshish kar rahi hai aur hamari baat ko dabane ki koshish kar rahi hai. Aadishri hits out at the BJP over ED action says it's a conspiracy by the BJP to intimidate the Aam Aadmi Party. All right, uh,
Now we're getting in an exclusive information. ED top sources have uh, informed Republic TV that the allegation of deleting CCTV footage leveled by Amani Party's Atishi are false and baseless. ED sources say they clarify that the statements were recorded on camera and ED may take serious legal action over these allegations that have been leveled by uh, Armani Party leader and Delhi Minister Aarti Shi, who just had held a press conference at around 10 a.m. today, remember, and she leveled many allegations against the ED. And now we have the ED as per sources telling us Republic TV is learning from ED sources that these claims made by Aarti Shi are false this is what the ed sources say and uh, they are uh, the statements recorded uh, are on camera that is what ed sources tell republic tv so this is a big update we have ed slamming the delhi minister saying that allegations of deleting cctv footage leveled by atishi are false and baseless and they are also mulling some serious legal action over the allegations. Senior editor Shavan Sen joins us live from the newsroom for more. Uh, Shavan, ED has taken cognizance of this and what we understand from our sources is that they are mulling even serious legal action over these allegations. Well, that's right, Rakshita. As far as the enforcement directorate is concerned, they have already hit out uh, at the allegations that have been levelled uh, by the Ahmadbi party. On the count that uh, some of the people who were called in for questioning by the enforcement directorate uh, were tortured by the federal agency is a claim that was made by Ahmadbi party senior leader Atishi at the press conference that was held uh, this morning. This is something that has been categorically denied uh, by the enforcement directorate and they say that all of the statements are recorded uh, in fact, there is, this is all under CCTV footage. Now, with regards to the claim that has been made by the Ahmadi party that CCTV footage was actually deleted, the enforcement director has indicated that none of the footage has been deleted so much. So they say that they are now going to produce this before the court. So there is a possibility in the days to come, uh, since this case is also being heard uh, by the court, uh, there is a high possibility that the enforcement director will actually apprise the court about the allegations that have been leveled. And this is not the first time, uh, perhaps, uh, the agency has uh, come under fire by the Ahmadbi party. In the past, to remember, there have been allegations that have been levelled uh, by Ahmadbi party against the Central Bureau of Investigation. So much so, uh, they had gone a step ahead by simply saying uh, that an officer who had died under mysterious circumstances did so be only because there was pressure coming in from the top uh, your management of the Central Bureau of Investigation and they were the ones who were putting pressure uh, to basically file a case against Ahmadbi party leaders, but that wasn't really the case. The officer who died under mysterious circumstances had nothing to do uh, with the liquor case as far as the Central Bureau of Investigation goes. Now, with regards to the enforcement directed, yet another attempt has been made by the Abad Bay party to tarnish the image of the federal agency by simply saying that they are all under pressure and acting at the behest of the centre. Having said that, remember, most of this most of this case, which is being heard by the court, the statements that have been recorded under various sections of the PMLA, they are admissible before the court itself. So it isn't like a police case where uh, perhaps you know most of the statements can be taken under some sort of duress. Having said that, the uh, Ahmadbi Party hasn't raised any of this uh, during the, the multiple hearings that have taken place so far. So much so, even the then Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's bail application, which was being heard by the court at that point in time, Ahmadbi Party made no such reference uh, to statements being recorded under duress, uh, under coercion. Now, these are aspects that have never been raised before the court, but this was only today when sensational claims have been made by the Ahmadbi party. But now it turns out the enforcement director has already indicated that they are going to take this matter forward. In fact, you know, perhaps put out the evidence that they have before the trial court. Uh, yes, uh, of course, there, there is uh, going to be serious action. That is what at least the sources from media are telling us. But also tell us uh, for the benefit of our viewers about the uh, the, the, the recording that Atishi is specifically talking about. Because uh, also if she levels anyone who levels such allegations against any investigative agency and, you know, levels serious charges or allegations, uh, one has to produce evidence also of the same.
Well, on that account, uh, the Ahmadi Party particularly has had a poor track record. Having said that, so far they haven't really produced any evidence. Uh, the claims that they have made so far, be it in this particular case or for that matter the liquor scam. In fact, they have been demanding that the enforcement director should be putting across the evidence that they they have gathered so far. Remember, it's the prerogative of the of the federal agency, and particularly when this particular case is is still being probed, the enforcement director is under no pressure to put out any evidence that too in front of those who they believe could be suspects in this in this case. Uh, there are some bizarre allegations that have been leveled by the Abadbi party uh, with regards to why exactly has uh, the enforcement directorate summoned um, Army Party Chief and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. That's only because, remember, as the national convener of the party, it is Arvind Kejriwal who perhaps will have to do some answering, particularly with regards to alleged uh, you know, uh, allegations uh, pertaining to whether at all the funds that were allegedly received in the liquor game, was that actually used for some sort of election purposes or ele for uh, e election uh, campaigning? These are some answers that only a national convener of the party could actually give. That is exactly why, remember, Ahmad Bi Party Chief Arvind Kejriwal was called in. He would have been examined. He hasn't been called in as an accused or for that matter as, a, as an approver in this particular case. But that is something that the enforcement director will decide at a later stage and that's part of the procedure having said that the inf today you've had a senior leader like atishi making the allegation that cctv footages were actually deleted if at all there is some sort of uh, you know evidence that they have in their possession remember they do have the option of taking this to the court that hasn't happened so far in fact they've decided uh, to make these allegations in front in front of the media uh, the enforcement director has certainly taken cognizance of the same Right, Shavan. Right. Thank you so much for joining us with those details, of course. And this is a developing story. We have also some reactions on it. Let's play, let's play them out right now. All right. In fact, uh, we will get you more reactions because there is more to ED's action that is uh, currently underway. There have been searches conducted at the premises of uh, Kejriwal's personal secretary, Amani Party Rajya Sabha MP N.D. Gupta, and some more people connected to the Amani Party in the money laundering case. So, as many as 12 premises in Delhi and the national capital region have been covered as part of these raids, and uh, we will play some reactions on that. Take a listen in. ED Prevention of Money Laundering Act के तहत केस करता है, तो सबसे पहली और सबसे जरूरी चीज है कि ED को recovery of money करनी पड़ेगी, लेकिन दो साल में सैकड़ों रेड के बाद भी एक रुपे की भी recovery ED नहीं कर पाई है. कई ऐसी statements किसी अक्यूज से किसी सरकारी गवाह से किसी विटनेस से ली गई उसके बाद कई विटनेस सामने आए और उन्होंने ये कहा कि उनसे स्टेटमेंट दबाव पूर्वक डलवाया गया लिखवाया गया और आपको पता है जब ईडी ने वो फुटेज दी तो उन्होंने उस फुटेज का ऑडियो डिलीट कर दिया सिर्फ वीडियो फुटेज दी गई ऑडियो फुटेज डिलीट कर दी गई और सारा एविडेंस कि वास्तविक तौर पे उस कमरे में क्या बात हुई थी उस सारे एविडेंस को ईडी द्वारा डिलीट कर दिया गया है और आज जो मैं खुलासा करने जा रही हूं वो आपको ये दिखा देगा कि ये सारी स्टेटमेंट्स फर्जी हैं कि ईडी ने सारी स्टेटमेंट्स में फर्जी वाड़ा किया हुआ है My colleague Piyush Ori joins us now on the broadcast for uh, this uh, action of the ED that continues. You know, we, we've seen Piyush that uh, there are a lot of counter allegations from the Aman party coming in, even as the ED heat on several of their leaders continue. Now we also have the case of Delhi Jal Board, the money laundering case pertaining to the alleged irregularities in the tendering process of the DJB. And it also involves people who are so close to Kejival, the personal secretary, the treasurer also. Tell us more details about this, please. 
So, Rakshita, what I can tell you is that trouble definitely continues to mount for the Amadi party, which continues to be investigated in uh, several cases of alleged probe. And the latest case in which the investigating agencies is probing Amadi party and uh, uh, especially uh, the functioning of the Delhi government is uh, of the Delhi Jal Board uh, alleged scam. Now, uh, while I uh, speak to you, I would just request my video journalist to just show the images of uh, N.D. Gupta. Now, he is the member of parliament, Rajya Sabha of Amadi Party. Uh, this is one among the 12 uh, premises which is being raided by the enforcement directorate since uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. Now, I will also tell you what exactly this scam is all about. It is uh, uh, reported, it is believed that uh, the tender of uh, rupees 38 crore was given to an ineligible company NKG infrastructure and there was a reported scam of money laundering that uh, occurred during this time there was also an allegation that uh, automatic meters was uh, being installed by a private company and uh, the money and the profit uh, which was uh, obtained by this uh, installation of meters was not actually deposited to the uh, Delhi Jail Board but was uh, but went into the private hands. So these are some very uh, startling allegations that are now being investigated, uh, not only by the other investigating agency, but also by the enforcement directorate. In fact, let me also just tell you that the allegations and complaint of this uh, uh, alleged scam first went into uh, the anti-corruption bureau branch of the Delhi government, but then subsequently shifted to uh, the enforcement directorate and central agencies. So yes, as you rightly said, that trouble continues to mount for the Amadi party and more important the friction between the Ahmadi party and central agencies also continue to grow. Today we saw that there was a startling allegation that was made by the prominent minister of Ahmadi party, Atishi. And while I speak, I would just request my video journalist to just show the images because you can see that uh, the premise of uh, uh, N.D. Gupta, the Rajya Sabha member of Ahmadi party, continues to be rated. And you can see that the uh, security agencies, uh, the officials of security agencies, continue to just uh, keep a vigilance of... Uh, uh, the house so that there is no untoward incident that occurs. So uh, you saw that today um, uh, the prominent member of Amani party, Atishi, made a startling allegation against enforcement directorate in which she leveled allegation of how all the interrogations is not being recorded either through audiovisual form. So uh, this has been refuted by enforcement directorate. In fact, uh, what we've been also told by the sources is that uh, enforcement directorate is also mulling uh, legal action against Amani party. But before that, Tomorrow is again going to be an important day because uh, there is going to be an important hearing in which a petition is going to be heard in the Delhi court where enforcement directorate has put a complaint that uh, how Amani party convener Arvind Kejriwal is not cooperating in the summons that have been issued to him as far as the investigation in the liquor gate probe is concerned. So not only the Delhi jail board but the liquor gate probe also continues to result in widening differences between the Amani party and enforcement directorate. Back to the studio. The ED heat indeed, of course, is now intensifying against the Aam Aadmi Party. Several of people, people, people who, are, who are connected with the Aam Aadmi Party. Thank you so much for the moment, Piyush, for joining us with those details. Now, viewers, uh, uh, the investigative agencies are, of course, uh, conducting the searches and investigation, but uh, there's a political face-off also that is intensifying. BJP has hit out at the Aam Aadmi Party, saying that any irregularities must be probed thoroughly. Take a listen into the reaction from BJP. ये सभी स्वतंत्रताएं संस्थाएं स्वतंत्र हैं और अपने इस तरह से काम करती हैं जहां पर कोई आरोप आते हैं उनकी जांच करना स्वाभाविक रूप से इनकी जिम्मेदारी है आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री जी के नेतृत्व में किसी भी संस्था पर कोई किसी तरह का दबाव नहीं होता है जो उनका काम है वो उसको अच्छे तरह से कर रही हैं और ये देखने को इसलिए भी लगता है प्रमाणित लगता है कि पिछले 10 वर्षों में जहां मोदी जी की सरकार के नेतृत्व में जो लोगों ने जैसे मोदी जी कहते भी हैं उन्होंने अपने कल की स्पीच में भी कहा है कि देश या देश के लोगों की संपत्ति को जिन्होंने लूटा है उनको इस देश के लोगों की पाई पाई चुकानी पड़ेगी उस दृष्टि से संस्थाएं बहुत अच्छी तरह से काम कर रही हैं पिछले दस वर्ष में एक लाख से एक लाख करोड़ से ज्यादा की जो संपत्ति है ऐसे लोगों की जब्त की गई है अच्छा सर अच्छा सर एक आखिरी सवाल अब तक अगर बोला जाए तो कई सारे लोग हैं जिनके घर ईडी की छापेमारी हुई है या ठिकानों पे उन सब ने कहा है कि पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा है विच हंट है सरकार एजेंसियों को इस्तेमाल करिए इसका 